Hello and welcome to Dicevania, or a bunch of lovable geeks from Romania who play D and D. This yeah. is the episode number twelve of Vim, the Tale of Immortality, uh, with folklore-inspired fairy tale life stories with trials and princes and stuff like this. Follow us more and follow this episode. But if you do not know what happened last time, do not forget to check right here the Book of Recollection with Magical Life podcast recaps. I am your humble and a little bit uh, <coughs> sour in the throat uh, DM, Carla Georgescu, and today we're going to play with Edward. Hello. Karina. Hi. Rares. Hello. David. Yeah. And Paul. Uh, and probably other people we're going to see. Now it's like a guessing game. Uh, but without any further ado, let's go jump into the story of Vim, the tale of immortality. So we left off in the enchanting forest for some and the enchanting end of, end of the world for others, but we were sure that we were in the middle of the first trial of the thrones and thorns, uh, where five possible prospects for the Meritonarchy with their retinues were competing in the trial of agility and judgment to follow the flow of death to the end of the world, passing a meritorious judgment over the seed of knowledge, what is that, which was rightfully theirs, and then come back from the first light of dawn to the last light of dusk. And since the beginning of the trial, six hours have passed since the first light, we are in midday, as you see, and I'm going to rectify this because last time we weren't, but we are at the midday. The six hours of midday are about to commence. And um, it's Sabbath day, which is the fifth day of the week. And running through the forest, about five miles far from uh, Green Springs gates, is panting Shaq. Just running. <laughs> just I'm not running panting up. though. I am, um, you know, just uh, calmly breathing in and out. Calmly breathing in and out. But, uh, but jogging. And jogging with an incredible dash that uh, it's blessed by Jormungandr, the creepy, mysterious uh, entity. Um, so Shaq could dash and, and determinedly without uh, getting exhaustion levels. Um, he is passing, or last time we saw each other, he was passing at an incredible speed, the Black River, the Sabbath River, where he saw two boats just swooshing behind him and beside him, and with a warp effect, he turned his head, and for a glimpse of a second, he saw in slow motion such in the movie Thor, just passing through him and clearly got a glimpse of two hooded figures with dark cloaks on top of two boats and one had a straw of red hair. Who was it? Passing by. What does Shaq do? So, two things. First of all, um, I'm trying to remember if there was anyone at the starting line having a uh, red hair color. Excellent uh, question. Everyone apart from Pax had red color <laughs> because it's a, it's a sign of um, 
of uh, the genetic inheritance of one possible prospect of a prince. So no Prince problem. Finian, Prince uh, Emmerich, Emmerich, and Prince Philip both had red, red hair, and also Lena. But the hair I saw, like it was peeking from under the hood mm -hmm. at a high speed. Mm -hmm. uh, would Shark be able to make the connection that it might be long red hair? Well, yeah, definitely if you can make the connection, Shark could also make it. Okay. Secondly, uh, I want to stop for a bit and look at the river and um, try to observe how does this look different than a normal river? I mean, visually, how, how does it look? First of all, can you describe it in more detail visually? So, after the boats, the two boats have passed, uh, you see, and it's, it's a strange sensation, like you see, and it's floating almost unperceptibly, and it doesn't make wave waves or um, other signs that it's it's sort of turbulent or it moves at a fast speed. It's just a dark, ominous river. Throwing a rock from a large distance enough so that I don't get splashed back. What does the rock do? Does it skip or...? The, do you want it to skip or plop? Both. I'm gonna do you, both. You have to make a, a choice. Oh, um, I want it to skip. Okay, for that you have to give me a sleight of hand, pass a 14. 17. Okay, so it skips. As I would expect. Yeah. And I do know that uh, people are afraid of this. And I do remember from one of the first sessions that uh, I heard that this uh, familiar Jormungandr voice in my head that I should run when I wanted to inspect the water, touch the water. Okay, cool. In that case, the last thing I'm going to do is I am going to do a 180 and remember that there are some unguarded guards along the way that so might you, know... you want to turn back? Yes. Okay. I want to turn back and, and uh, run to see if there's any guards that would intercept the... that would be part of the red of King Philip. Specifically, yes. I'm thinking that those are the Queen's guards, which might know some info we would like to find out. Mm -hmm. Give me an investigation for that. He is on a mission later. Uh, investigation. But what but, am I investigating? Uh, uh, just to be on the lookout uh, for traps and tracks and stuff like this. Okay, it's an 18. Okay. And with that, I, I just jog back and, uh, like you know, take uh, keep some distance, and uh, I'll say what happens when I see first see the. So with, with see that, him. you jog back and expect in six hours, maybe a bit more, because you uh, dimension door twice. I yeah. think. Uh, Actually, I'm expecting that they're going mm -hmm. towards me. Mm -hmm. so yeah, 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 yeah. So you're you're expecting to reach Green Spring in six or seven hours? No, I expect to reach the retinue. No, I got this. Up. You're expecting okay. to reach like that's the distance yeah, between yeah, you exactly. and Green Spring, and you're you're investigating to get the retinue, the one from awesome. Prince Philip, the ones that were about to set traps. Yes. Um, cool. And as you as you walk, um, and uh, next hour commences, uh, you also give me a perception apart from that investigation. It's a 17. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So with a 17, a bit in the, um, in the distance, through the forest, you see a man, a thin man, bald, standing in the middle with robes that are um, sort of disheveled. I do not know in English what this shovel means. Uh, sort okay. of unkept, unkept, uh, rupte, you know, uh -huh. broken okay, okay. in pieces. Uh, and, yeah. Yeah. Like, he looks uh, reckless, mm -hmm. first. It's not uh, the same uh, Raggedy. man that was... Raggedy, yeah. Okay, it's not the same man that was part of the retinue, the spellcaster that they had, right? Uh, give, give me an intelligence pass of 10. Yes, it's, uh, it's past 10. Okay, so it doesn't. he doesn't look familiar. But as you inspect it and you get closer and closer, you see that he has no eyebrows and no mustache and no hair at all. And we're gonna leave it here. Uh, next on the, what happened in the next, what's happening in the next hour is, I'm just gonna scroll. Uh, you see, don't do meta guys. Um, having a chance and a heart to aid young Prince Philip uh, and his pony, Stella, uh, uh, the um, 
the Chancellor of the Midnight District, uh, Leo Auxilium, everyone, is trying to hold his knees up as they are <laughs> running through the uh, through the magical path through the uh, to the through the cur cursed forest. And please give me a constitution. <laughs> For the knees? For, For the knees! knees. <laughs> the old knees, everybody. Oh, they're so old. <laughs> oh, no. Um, can I roll with advantage? Because I feel inspired by the little priest. Um, <laughs> <laughs> It's a four. Uh, They're trembling so, so hard. So you start trembling, and at some point they just fall. Like you cannot bear the uh, the um, strain on your body, on your knees. They're all knees, as you said, and they just fall. And with that, you decelerate, uh, being sort of like a, a, a break in the ground, putting like a break in the ground. Sorry and to interrupt. Is the horse that small? Yes. <laughs> Just hit me. It's a chubby <laughs> pony that runs very fast. Um, can I? Uh, and the Prince Philip. Can I buy the inspiration myself? But if um, they're moving supersonic and his yeah. feet touch the ground, it's yeah. no yeah. danger. Think about that. They, they no, sort of touch it gradually. I'm gonna okay. just role play like the gradually so they do not stumble and die. Uh, and please also do this exercise. Like, forget physics. We're in a magical world. It's a super speed. But. A magical, a super, magical speed. super speed. So you're dragging the feet and you decelerate. And the prince turns around because you're in the back. <laughs> what are you doing? I, uh, small lord, I do apologize. It feels akin to being in a running competition. My knees hurt. Oh, we have to cut them, aren't we? Mayhap we can find another solution? Okay, then go to the forest and beg for a solution. It's a magical forest, so maybe it will give you something. <laughs> now are serious, young lord. I'm only serious. Hey, Chop Chop, what are you doing? Just go with your broken knees and, you know, fix it. Shrek wants to adopt this guy. Mm -hmm. uh, Shrek wants to adopt this guy. <laughs> Uh, Alia will glimpse around the forest to see any, I don't know, strange occurrences like leaves that... So, there's a magical pathway, it's, it sort of shines, and then left and right there's this creepy forest with long branches and... Uh, what do you do? <clears throat> uh, I am Leo Auxilium, Chancellor of the Midnight District and High Dean of the Midnight University. Forest, I beseech your aid in my folding knees. So you step into the forest. <laughs> I stay on the path. Okay. And I yell towards the forest. <laughs> um, I'm the demon. Give me help. <laughs> so what happens is, you sit there. A minute passes. Two minutes pass. Five minutes. Nothing happens. I look at Stella. What is Stella doing right now? Uh, it's sort of uh, it's sort of being braided by the little prince. I'm not. Um, my not little braided, lord, right? uh, do you uh, suggest me step into this dark forest? Yes, Shili. No one can hear you on the magical path. This is what Stella says. <laughs> this is Stella, not the prince. Um, Leo just thinks to himself, "This is how low you've gotten," and he just. <laughs> Steps like two uh, steps into the dark area. As you step off the magical forest, please give me a d8. I hope I roll as bad. <laughs> this is what you get for taking orders from a pony. You know what? I don't know how I got to be chancellor, honestly. Uh, five. <laughs> I'm listening to a little child. What's going on? His pony, no less. Oh my god, that pony. I he wanted with to that. spare it. Yes, that's true. Okay, so with the five, <laughs> you step and you hear. <laughs> and you look at your feet, and dead bird starts falling from the sky. Is. Uh, do my. Does Leo know this to be a sign for something? It's Is that of your gonna die? It's about, it's about that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not good. Not good. 
So what do you do next? Uh, little Lord, I do not think I will receive help very long. Um, I think the forest does not like me. You, pick you, up a... you just have to be kind to it. How are you kind to a forest? Like kiss the trees? I don't know. Do you want to kiss the trees? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It was a mistake to do this. It was not. You're here for a purpose, uh, Chancellor. Please, like, put your uh, smart ass, grown up ass to, to work. I okay? feel like my smart ass, grown up ass is not the one that should be acting right now because I will burn this forest down. And as you do that, you're oh. on the D8. I am kidding! Wait, you are in the forest while you said mm -hmm. that? I am kidding! <laughs> do they hear each other? Oh. Or from yeah. the six? How do I be nice to the forest? So <clears throat> I burn it, punch the forest down like Minecraft. So with a six, you turn into a mushroom. <laughs> and, <laughs> and you, you you don't have your speaking abilities, your HP is one, but you think you're conscious about it. Which is worse. Yeah. yeah. Oh. And what, what the little painting, prince painting is doing is uh, going and looking at the mushroom and saying, well, and it's a very, like, very nice mushroom. It has this big cap with blue coloration with a sort of like dots that look like stars. Exactly. And he says, well, this will do. And he uh, takes like a long stick and takes the mushroom with it. He loses 15 minutes. Uh, you're being unrooted, and he takes the mushroom, puts it in, in his pocket, and starts running again. It fixed the knees problem. Yeah. Oh, it definitely did. Well, there we are. So you're a mushroom, yeah. and speaking of forest who turn, um, um, you know, um, a certain characters into other things, we're gonna go back to uh, the other wild bunch, where Prince Evander now turned into a frog. Um, is on humanness, the purple pegasus, gliding uh, behind them an undead horse, abomination, rided by Castiel, um, and with a magic tapestry tied to humanness, where inside is Jen just posing near a vampire that's feeding on a human being. Um, and neck with neck, neck to neck with you guys, is uh, the legend, this big raven carrying Emric. Um, in your reach, the sort of the Sabbat smile, it's a Sabbat river that spilled over the land. It forms a stretch that from upwards, it looks like a smile. Um, uh, and at its termination, you spot a strip of land, two towers, and beyond that, a canyon, and beyond that, the astral sea. Congratulations, you have reached the end of the world. What do you guys do? Well, well I don't like to think about it. Uh, as, as we were approaching this, I was just uh, having uh, Charmcaster glamour me into a, a creepy version of, of Genevieve mm -hmm. is where we last were, uh, with the with the bright red eyes, uh, and yeah, the 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 prince who is a frog is now uh, uh, this elfette uh, as as we uh, aim for the canyon. So you're a frog with a wig, a red wig, and I don't know how how the Jovisian magic works while I'm a frog. I'm just gonna make the frog red with red eyes, and you sort of have a strip of like a sort of a mohawk. A bright red hair. Um, what do you do? Skinning image of John. <laughs> if you close both your eyes and imagine it's hard, hard enough. <laughs> I, uh, this is not working for me. You said close both his eyes, which is not the right count. <laughs> <laughs> this is definitely not working for me. <laughs> I'll try again. I will uh, yet again attempt to kiss the frog, the red frog. How do you kiss it? Uh, what do you mean, how do you kiss it passionately? <laughs> Does Castiel have passion in him? Uh, he has some sorts. 
<laughs> fashions, not necessarily orthodox ones, but uh, he will attempt to uh, picture in his mind's palace um, uh, someone resembling Genevieve uh, helping him with an experiment and he will try to dissociate very hard into conning himself. That, that frog might eventually one day lead to that happening. Mm-hmm. And he will attempt to kiss the frog yet again. Uh, you kiss the frog. Nothing happens. I gave it my best shot. Robert, I'm not Frenching you. Uh, yeah, well, understandable. Oh. I guess, uh... That's fine. I am in charge. Got all, all my judgment with me as a frog. Yes, I'm gonna be on frog duty, I guess. And we descend towards the cannon. You guide the horse to descend at the, where? Towards the canyon. The edge of the canyon? I believe so. Either that or maybe there'll be some maybe something beyond the Astral Sea. The Astral Sea the brr, Astral Sea here I assume is not this world, so last thing of this world I think is the canyon edge, but we'll see. We also uh, look to the towers in case we notice anything. Do we know anything of these towers? No. No. This is the first time you're seeing literally the edge of the world that you thought maybe was a myth. We also explore briefly the towers from the air. Oh, you're gonna lose an hour to do that? An hour to to look at them? Or do you wanna just glance at them? Yeah, like just on our way to the canyon, fly over the towers and look at them. Perception. Can Jen see out of the tapestry all of these? Nothing. 16. I also posed with my 20, eyes closed 30. and then like made it 30, 30? 30, 20. 30, 20. So with the 16, you see it two ages, towers that look sort of rusted. They have like this irony feeling about them. And as you look better with normal human eyes, <coughs> or humanoid at least, not frog eyes, um, you see. At the top of the tower, there's a balcony, and at the balcony, there's a figure with red hair. Wild, long red hair, with white figure, face. Does the figure look familiar to me? Yeah. Looks a lot like Jen. <sighs> it's me, you guys. Or maybe with the dirty 20, you... No, it looks like, uh, like Jen, yeah. Okay, I will pass this information to Bax, saying that the towers seem to have someone inhabiting them. Like, maybe tied to our quest, maybe not, but I, I propose we scout the area a bit further before we commit ourselves to any course of action. Can we make it out to dive along that balcony without spending an hour? Yeah. Yeah, we just dive along to see closer to the balcony. Yes. Okay, you lose will, five minutes with this. I'll also chug uh, one of my drugs, trying to better, to enhance my view of the... Okay, so you chug one of your drugs. Yes. And um, you glide next to the balcony. The legend pushes through with uh, Prince Emmerich, just so you know. He sort of waves as he looks a bit puzzled. Why are you stopping? Um, okay, and he pushes through. They they are descending into the canyon. And as you glide and take this detour in front of the balcony, give me another perception with advantage. Advantage. Right, I'm so to guidance myself. It is 22. Okay, with the 22. You pass the balcony, and you see this woman has a wild, it looks a lot like Jen, but has a wild thing to it, like pointy, sharp, um, angular features, elongated uh, fingers that end in claws, a sort of a gray area at the root of the red hair, and some, some strings of gray hair, wild um, red bloodshot eyes, and two fangs that just hiss at you. You're not stopping there. Sounded like your type, though. I can't feel, think. So wait, have I seen any of this? Oh, perception. Uh, zero. 
Nice. No. No. Why? You have to, the, the eyes from of the frog are too far apart. You're just seeing uh, the sides of the sky. Why not danger? And I don't think that's her destination. Rationally, I agree. But how these things tend to work is that things along the way are not along the way randomly. They have a uh, story-like role. Mr. Pax, mountains are in place there because they have some sort of meaning to a story. Mountains are placed there because they're goddamn mountains. It might as well just be a prison. I say we move on. And if there is time, we could check it out. But my biggest concern right now is the fact that you're a frog. And Burp. I have no way of uh, turning you back. Burp. So I will not stop for a potentially dangerous amount of time. There have been worse gangs than frogs. Um, we will continue to the edge. So you will stop at the edge of the canyon? We don't stop if uh, we saw that... Um, the legend and Prince Emmerich. If Emmerich didn't, we'll go past the same way they did. So you just head on glide inside the canyon. Glide, some of you, and some of you just fly with incredible speed. And as you descend into this, you're struck. But what lies ahead? You come across a grand palace made entirely of gold that stands proudly. Um, and um, there's a garden with beautiful flowers, pink. And at the center of the garden, there's an apple tree. And what's special about the apple tree and what why it distracted you from like the huge ass palace is it bears four golden apples, similar to the ones in the um, Sunrise District in Green Spring. But these shine as bright as the sun. If we've come off the edge, what is this palace sitting on? On the, um, on the end of the canyon, on the basin of the canyon. But past the edge? Yeah. You glided inside the canyon, though. Inside the inside the ravine is inside the ravine is this palace and then the. But it's sitting on an outcropping of. No, no, it's at the bottom of the canyon. Aha! But there's a bottom. There's yeah. a ground. Yeah. So what is we're beyond? not shifting the ninety percent no. like the. No, 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 no. Okay. Uh, but what is beyond it? Beyond what? The astral sea. Does so, it have an edge? The word that the the end of the world that you reached is flat. Astro Sea, Sky, and before the end of the world, there's this canyon. Mm -hmm. And on its bottom, this palace. On, the, on this bottom, it's palace and the garden. Are there any remarkable features in this canyon besides the palace? Um, the garden. The and garden for and the other stuff, you have to roll me an investigation. Okay. My question is, do we see any of the others? Yeah. It's a ten. You see... Okay. This is what you see from the top. You want, if you want to land, I'm going to give you more information. So with the ten, you see a couple of figures just moving. Uh, two hooded figures. You see the, the legend, the big raven with some small, you assume, Emmerich next to him. And some, some other objects, but with the ten, you can't really tell. But they have uh, landed, is what you're telling me. Yeah. They mm. have landed in the garden. I think it's safe to say we should do the same. Is this of the astrals, dumbads? That's fair. I'd like to recall knowledge using religion, whether this strikes me as any part of... Uh, same. The religious... Okay. Give me a religion check. I also like you can also give me an architecture check. Chag, uh, it's another one of my potions to guidance me for this. I'm a mushroom. That's a cocked. You're a mushroom. She's in a tapestry. Shack is just running. Creatures. That's a twenty-six. Wow. So with just a, eleven. Hmm? An eleven for me. Eleven. Um, I'm gonna keep repeating you guys what because I can't really hear with one ear today. I'm in one ear. 
I'm funny. Uh, so, with the 26 <clears throat> a religion check, you know that the apples have a, and like the soulless distinction about it, the, the radiance sort of have this feeling that it belongs to soulless. But just that. The other elements, the pink flowers, the golden palace, they have something eerie about it, something that doesn't strike you as made out of the same matter, because as you glance at it, they sort of seem to shift and tremble, like they have their own accord. So I would be more interested in this symbolism behind the apples, would they be equated to the seed of knowledge? Definitely, with the 26, you recognize that it's it might be from the same branch, or at least the same, I don't know, soy, what's it, soy in English, um, type, type, that the golden apples from the so Sunrise District, in front of Hebdom's house, the Hebdom house, Adam's house, um, they have the same structure, but these ones shine as bright as the sun. Yeah. And they have a clear symbolic um, representation for Solis, who is the hebdomad demigod of knowledge. Okay, yeah, that is the place. Um, we descend towards these apples of knowledge. X. I feel radio down my neck. Why? Because I cannot keep you safe as a frog without having you near me. Plus, the little baggy feet around my neck. Robert. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, we shall make our way down uh, into the gardens. Mm -hmm. um, as you make way into the gardens, you see two hooded figures uh, with a black cloak um, just standing in front of the apple tree uh, talking to each other um, and then you see Emmerich just going uh, and uh, turning around gesturing something to the legend the legend stays put and um, sort of distancing itself from the tree, and he's going to the palace. Okay. I presume we will just make landing. Mm-hmm. Where? Well, in the gardens, not necessarily next to the tree. And as we do so, I shall head to Humaness once she has landed. Mm -hmm. Take Pax, uh, untie the bag that was tied to Humaness. Put it around my neck, have a little froggy. Out of it. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'll uh, take out the tapestry mm -hmm. and I'll roll it out mm -hmm. and I'll pluck Jen out of it. You're plucked out of the tapestry. Uh, as Jen comes out of this tapestry, uh, one foot after the other, then she rise herself. Uh, uh, she smells of stuffy air, like stale air, for being uh, so long stuck in the tapestry. And she says, oh, it was so long, I got so bored. As you, come, as you come out of the tapestry, you would smell yourself a few feet away from you. There's your horse there. With, with a few red strings. Uh... The horse is covered in by a sheep, let's say, a barding. Can't really distinguish its features. What did you Upward. do? <laughs> I got us to the end of the world. Now. Uh, and you don't see Pax, you see a frog around the castle. Where's Pax? Right here. Brr, hello. Hey, no. Why is he a frog? God, we don't know. Now. The rundown is as follows. We have, I believe, 12 more hours left. As the seed of knowledge, and I point to the tree, and right over the edge of that canyon, I think you may have some relatives here. Robert, let's what go. What do you mean I have some relatives here? Not now, not now, time. Apples. Yeah. 
But you after, should be aware. After. We can drop you off. Let's, uh, let's head to the tree. Good. So, at the foot of the tree, you see one of the hooded figures um, pointing one hand and plucking one, one of the, the trees. The ap- devil apple, apples, uh, the golden apples from the trees. Uh, so seed of knowledge. Mm, that might be the apple seed. Yeah. Does the frog have to eat an apple? Uh, I don't think eating will be necessary, especially not in his condition. Uh, I think it would. So you're approaching the tree? Yes, yes. Maybe we can make a nice compote out of as, it. As you're approaching the tree and where you're uh, approaching 30 feet, you give me a constitution saving throw. A constitution as, saving throw. I think it's constitution. As you're being blinded by the light. 20. 20. 22. Uh, 20, 20 also. I mean, not 30, 20. Yeah. Cracks. Constitution. Stats, frogs. Frog stats, sorry. I'm still so low. Very low. Okay, so you're blinded now. You get the blinded condition. Uh, you're also a blind frog. Leo, you're also you blind. You pass, but you feel the urge to close your eyes. Oh my god. Uh, you can't look at it. And you take a half. You, you're gonna take damage of six, um, six each point, uh, Mr. Frog. And you're gonna take half, three and three. To what? Free and free. Radiant oh, damage. Radiant, radiant damage. damage. Radiant damage. Radiant damage. Radiant damage. So my temp HP is gone. Um, so one thing I would have liked to say, but I forgot. In the meantime, between we would have uh, uh, reached the end of the world and got down to the palace, we, would we have had time for a short rest? No. Just if we would have stopped. The, just if you would have stopped for half an hour of case in which uh, there's gonna be an alteration of the events. Okay. Then, uh, as I do this, I also, uh, as I take this damage, I will also heal myself for nine hit points. Okay. Um, By casting, uh, uh, Cure wounds on affected by this. Humaness is not in 30 feet of it. Okay. Um, well, putting a hand to my eyes, I'd like to ask something for the hooded figures. Greetings. Uh, we've come here... You're blinded, just don't forget. For the seed of knowledge. Would you um, kindly give us that apple, please? Or make way for us to get it, huh? Uh, or they turn around. Just give us the trial. They turn around and you see two familiar faces. You see monkey uh, with uh, a sort of a black sheet covering his eyes, and you see Lena with the golden apple and uh, the same black sheet covering her eyes. And he turns and says, "Do you know what? Bloody get it yourself, mate." Um, okay, fuck you! <laughs> Make home at least! Uh, I cannot escape the Cretans even at the end of the world. But they have sunglasses. Uh, let me pick <laughs> the. Smart Cretans. <laughs> let me pick the frog. And I'm, I'm picking packs up and uh, holding it uh, up my uh, toe. Uh, the frog self. is blind. <laughs> it, it, it doesn't need eyes to pick the apple and just pick it packs. Extend your little lens. We're, we're, we're not supposed to get the apples. That's not the quest. The quest is to answer the judgment. It's answer judgment with the seed of knowledge. You have to eat the seed, eat it, the fucking apple. That's <laughs> <laughs> That's not what the thing said. That's not what it says. Let's make up a point. Oi there, Cretan. <laughs> Did you talk to someone inside? You know, talk verbally? Fuck you. Yeah, you'd wish so, honey. Did you I'm talk not, to I, someone? I do not like pale, pale faces. I with don't like bed. idiots, but here we are having to. Do you know what, mate? Fuck you. You know what, Lena? Let's go. We have to catch the, you know. And she says, yes, indeed. Um, it's for you to find out. She uh, exits the uh, 30 feet uh, just, radius. Just, just 
put me. I want to kill that asshole so much. Put me on an apple. That's, that's I'm putting all. you on an apple. I crawl onto How an apple. How do you put him on an apple? Because you're blinded. Uh, you're, you're, uh, you're, you have your eyes we closed. We have our eyes closed. Mm -hmm. I go with packs above my head and I hoist him up and uh, walk on my tippy toes and just go and be. Is it there? Do you feel anything? It's going to be an investigation to sort of get the bearings with disadvantage without your eyesight. You've blindly flailed a By the to way, I have. <laughs> and I'm not in combat. <laughs> Fuck it. Uh, investigation with disadvantage. Eight. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you're seeing this from beyond the 30 feet radius, and Jen is flinging packs at another tree. Yeah, this isn't gonna work. No. Jen, ching an apple? Yes? Let's go into the... <coughs> into the castle. I don't think, um, the frog is supposed to eat the apple just... Just put me on apple, I don't wanna eat it. I'm supposed to be uh, you're on putting the seat him of on another branch of a tree that it, it has uh, this beautiful Castiel, blossoms. Castiel, what about you getting out of the uh, area that blinds us? He's out of the area. And direct me where to put packs. Apple, on, on one. To the left, to the left. There are three apples remaining. Pa uh, Castiel. Yeah, yeah, sorry, I was just having an aneurysm. Um, uh, yeah. I'll direct you. Direct me. I direct her. Quickly. Okay. As, Don't hurry me. As, um, okay, start directing her. You roll, uh, um, what would be this? A persuasion? Um, oh. To say clear? I don't know. I don't know. I, I was saying, I was saying it's the charisma roll. To, to make can, her understand. I can do something else completely. Okay. I, I don't have to roll. Okay. I will take up my familiar. Mm hmm I will send it next to Jen, and I will control my familiar to literally put her next to the tree. And as I say this, this is stupid. I, I will take my familiar, have it crawl on top of Jen while she is next to the tree. Can I have the frog? No, because is this the good tree? Yeah, I'll we'll just lift him up on oh, Look, I can do this. And she starts walking vertically on the tree trunk up the way of the top of the tree. Mm -hmm. Like a spider mm -hmm. climb. That's cool, but that's fine. With a spider climb. Mm -hmm. And you, you walk, you reach uh, the end of the trunk. What do you do then? Pax is hanging. You, you, feel you, you feel the gravity pull shift from one side to another. As, as you're being pulled, uh, your your feel are you're standing vertically. Still constantly reaching out for Okay. Apple. You know what? You go you give me an uh, investigation. Eleven. Uh you uh, find the branch. <laughs> Does this one have apple? No. You start uh, uh, feeling the branch as you're used to feel things in the dark. But um, it's no apple there, no round shapes. Before you do yeah. something can, that we can, may regret. Give me to an apple, I just want to sit on it so that I'm on the seat of knowledge. <laughs> 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 uh, I'm a little frog, I fit on an apple. Wh why, why don't you have a team player and why don't you uh, guide us? I've been literally doing that. What the fuck do you mean? We keep beating? following yeah. the guidance towards okay. the apple. Uh, now your, uh, Jen is gonna roll and she's gonna try to hoist you on, on top of an apple with uh, her blindness as Castiel is uh, without disadvantage, normal roll. What am I rolling? Investigation. Why investigation or perception? You're you wanna open your eyes? Yeah. You're investigating the territory. 13. No, uh, still a branch. But! From the palace, uh, Emric comes back with uh, comes back, and he's running. Uh, the legend is just staying perched and looking intently at you, someone, some of you. Mm -hmm. uh, and Lina and Monkey are on the side, out of the thirty feet radius, just sniggering in the in the one corner. I swear <laughs> to God, I'm gonna kill those you. Um, and uh, <clears throat> as you. Keep investigating. You see Emmerich reaching the end and pulling um, something from um, 
glass pocket is a stained glass, I think. I, I, I hope this is the word. Vitralio. Yep. yep. Stained yep. glass. Uh, that looks very beautiful and it has the same sort of eerie feeling. Puts it uh, around his eye and goes and plucks one of the um, apples. And he says, okay, we have it. Let's go. The legend? Oi, Emmerich. Mm. Quick question. Do you gotta ask for permission to take one of those? Um, what do you mean? Is there someone inside that owns sentence to this garden? I with didn't, whom I, you have had to ask? I didn't ask anyone, I just took this. Okay. You went in to pilfer a bunch of glass. Is this an apple? I stayed outside and pilfered a bunch of glass. Can I... Am can, I on the right way? You're still feeling it, investigation. Uh, and... Can I, can I go towards your horse? 25, no. I want to feed it with a sugar cube. Don't worry about it. She's fed enough. I'm going to do this anyway. Well, I'm going to stop you. I will put in position myself. This feels a little bit more fleshy. And you, re- uh, this conversation reaches to that point. You put your froggy hands on, on, on a round shape. I hoist on top of the round shape. You hoist on top of the round shape and congratulations, you're on top of a golden apple. You're still blinded. <laughs> I'll position myself in front of our horse. I'm staying with Pax. Um, I start to speak. Look, uh, he hands you three sugar cubes. If you... We, we have sugar. You don't need to I take food. I purify food and water. He nods. Um, he goes and feeds it to the horse. He pets the weird horse for a bit. Which weird horse? Your weird horse. Oh, mine. Mm-hmm. The skeleton one, that one. Yeah, he was um, the And says, nice one. Uh, goes next to the legend. The legend steers stare at, at your direction. You don't know what at which of you. Can I do the same to yours? Mine is not a horse. I don't know if it is rats or some shit. I, it's a bird, isn't it? It's not a bird. It's the legend. And with that uh, cool expression, uh, the legend <laughs> takes uh, Emmerich and they just uh, sweep off and start flying. Um, coming back to you. You're on top of the seed of knowledge. While they were doing this, uh, attorney, I am upon the seed of knowledge as ordered and am ready for veritas judgment, taking not of knowledge unless uh, offered it. You say this out loud. You stay there. At frog volume. At frog volume. (laughs) You stay there. One minute. Uh, within like 30 seconds, he, he you know, saw attorney over a seat of knowledge, ready for judgment. <laughs> One minute. This might not be it. I'm gonna, with the <laughs> eyes closed, I'll give it away. <laughs> uh, with the eyes closed, I'm going to uh, go next to the frog and try to find the frog. Mm-hmm. Where he speaks. Investigation. Oh With advantage because he speaks. It's happening all over again. Maybe I need to extract the seeds. Fucking 12. We have never getting out of uh, And I, you find the trunk. With the 12. The, the trunk where where he is? No. The trunk of the... <laughs> yes, where he is. The trunk of the um, tree. But I I was there next to the trunk of the tree. You I don't know 12. Why, why am I... So I find the trunk that I'm next to? Mm-hmm. Good job. Yeah. Nice. Um, Even though he speaks and I'm directed by his with advantage. Voice. Yeah. You roll the 12. You find the trunk. Brr, maybe the seeds are the seeds in the apple and I need to get the seeds out. Can I recall knowledge with religion on based? What? How would this judgment look like? Because I believe we're fumbling with the solution, but we're not. Okay. Roll a religion. And with I'm that, I'm going to... Get guidance myself. Basically, sip on my drugs while looking at them, thinking we gotta be doing something wrong. And it is 25. So, with the 25, you recall the trial, and it says 
flow, follow the flow of death to the end of the world. Pass a meritorious judgment over the seed of knowledge, which was rightfully ours, and come back. With the 25, that pass might be, you must pass, in the sense you have to pass the, the meritorious judgment over it. We have to judge it. You have to judge over the seed of knowledge that was rightfully ours. And you, with the 26, realize that uh, the seed of knowledge, this specific apple uh, type, was of the hebdomads and is no longer theirs. And in, it's, in, in, it's at the end of the world, beside their domain, in this creepy canyon, next to this palace, and it's no longer theirs. How do you pass judgment over it? I cannot speak to plants. How would I pass judgment over something? In the se- you get the sense that it's the fact that the seed of knowledge, a hebdomadic, um, magical infused plant is here, not in their position, is a wrongdoing. How do you pass judgment over that? Passing judgment is different from enacting justice. Taking this back would not mean judgment. So this has to be held in Pax, I don't believe we should just pluck the apple. There is something else entirely here. Robert, this was taken away from our gods. This is a sin. It's an apple that grew here. This is not a mere apple. This is symbolistically something tying us to the covenant we made with our gods, yet it was taken away from us. Even metaphorically speaking, it is one seed of knowledge that's grown here. So, I can't see the roots well. If you can, does it seem a naturally growing plant, or was it it's most re- likely not naturally replanted growing. here? It matters not. The mere fact that it's here, not in their domain, is a sin in itself. Now, the trial is to pass judgment for this. Uh. Taking the apple would not be passing judgment, would be enacting potential justice, but that's not judgment. We need to judge, not be judged? We need to pass judgment. That doesn't mean we have to be judged ourselves, necessarily. Are we to judge or be judged? I do not yet know, but I believe it may just be to be judged as well. I believe we need to at least get into the palace and see what's there. There's, there is something that I'm missing, and I'm afraid we may fail this task in any other way. But the palace is a palace. I am upon the seat of judgment here inside the palace. I am not over the seat of knowledge. I am on the seat of knowledge here. I, I think you're a bit too literal about it. I'm just. If you want to pass judgment over the seat of knowledge, I can create the creature. We can call it judgment, and you can pass it to me. You being on the seat of knowledge, and me being under it. But I'm not quite sure that will just do the trick. The hebdomads are very specific with their words. But sure, let's go inside the castle, even though we were told to be on the seeds of knowledge and... Yeah, but we can't... Pax. I'm I'm gonna take a bit of a look around the tree. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for fallen apples. Um, perception. I will have my familiar aid me in this. Mm -hmm. How does he aid you? Uh, he will scour the ground, sniffing, rummaging through it. Also, uh, drink another potion. How many potions do you have? 
Unlimited. Unlimited. It's, it's a vial that keeps refilling. Oh it's God. guidance. What? Oh. It's magic. I'm not talking mushroom. It is 18. So with an 18, you look around, and you see the ground, it's a little bit different. It's It doesn't have the same density, or even the same feeling, or even the same color as the other. The ground that which this was seed is uh, is brown and reminds you of green spring. No apples though, all fallen. Okay. So naturally grown here. There's just two apples left in the tree, and uh, that's it. This isn't naturally grown. This soil seems to have been either taken out of Green Spring or made to feel like it was there. Make sure. If you're sure this was uprooted and replanted here, then that's where you got it. Yeah. I'd like to make sure. I presume I will need nature for this. Yeah. I will uh, consume another spell slot and make me proficient in nature. How do you make yourself proficient in it's called, I use a spell called Borrowed Knowledge. For one hour, I'm proficient in a skill mm. in which I was not. Role-playing wise, how do you make yourself proficient? Role-playing wise, well, I will uh, open my coat, I will cut off some bits of it, and I'll mix them with the soil, I'll ingest them, and uh, some darkened spots are gonna start appearing on my hand as his hands, as if Castiel had suddenly gotten a lot older very fast. My voice will getting a, will be getting a bit raspier than it already is. He's gonna sound a bit like an old man. Oh. He's gonna use uh, the knowledge of a uh, once person to determine whether this has naturally grown here or has been uprooted and replanted. Nature. I would also like to detect magic as a ritual mm-hmm. in order to ensure that this is a mm-hmm. comprehensive enough process. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. That is 21. So with the 21, you understand that this was planted here uh, the soil is not from uh, the same soil as the bottom of the canyon. It feels taken from the Greenlands. Not necessarily Green Spring, but the Greenlands. Like it's the whole uh, composition of that soil. Uh, and it looks like it's thriving here. No problem. This isn't naturally occurring here. But then. You also, with the 20, how much? One. 21. You also notice that even though it has the green soil, soil, it sort of feels that it's going deeper and maybe deeping its roots into something because, and you deduce this because the apples from your land do not glow like this one. Would I know whether Sabbat waters flow underneath this? Excellent point. You see that the smile stops and it's not going through the um, through this strip of land and connecting with the astral sea. And you assume that maybe it's going under because there's no way and no nowhere Sabbat, uh, the Sabbat River ends. Okay. Okay, knowledge. Uh isn't just something that you gorge on for your satisfaction. It should be something that people get uh, repeated access to, I, made for future generations. I agree. I believe uh, we may have to... Dig up a tree. Dig up a tree. We should dig up a tree. May um, I add something? Yes, Jen. Uh, two apples are missing. That means all two of the other competitors uh, deemed that... uh, Two apples are missing since you got here. Since we got here. Uh, Deemed that the tree wouldn't be dug out. Where? That was their judgment. So they thought uh, of something else. Yes. Yeah, they took the apples. Their judgment was to just take some knowledge for themselves. I want to bring knowledge back 
to the people. But if you bring the knowledge back, you could do it with the seed inside the fruit to grow it into another tree, no? That is also fair. You can have two apple trees, not just the one. But this, uh, this tree was not replanted from the Green Kingdom. It was uprooted whole from the Green Kingdom by its soil. You don't know this. Uh, then would you tell me that? Uh, it looks like it's, it's been planted. It's not. Doesn't, it's, it doesn't look like. It doesn't look like it was traumatized. <laughs> Whatever, whoever did this may have used it as possibly a backup for the tree in our own lands. Nonetheless, we may have to either take it away from here. Whose palace is this? I don't know. Maybe Solis's palace. We never bother to check out. Heaven. Whose property is this? You don't know. At this point, we're thieves. Wouldn't, <coughs> uh, theologically, wouldn't Solis's headquarters be in the Astral Sea? Theologically, Solis's headquarters are in the sky, are in the sun. Like it's the Astral itself, not in the Astral Sea. It's the moving Astrals. No. Can't you talk with uh, Solis? Or the other Astrals, I don't know. This is a trial of judgment. Just mm-hmm. doing what others do or asking others for the answers is the reduction no, no, of judgment. No, but ask him if he owns this land or... Uh, How far away is the entrance to this castle? Like about five minutes of walking. So Pretty far. We can investigate. Uh, I can go very quickly. I can. You're, you're do the whoosh whoosh fast thing. See what's inside real fast. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm gonna go... Uh, at a speedy pace uh, at the castle's doors, try to open them or knock at them if they're locked. <coughs> um, uh, so if I reach the doors, uh, if they're closed, I will knock at them if they have like a handle. Okay. So you reach the doors and um, there's like, as you get closer, closer, there's stained glass from all around the palace. There's this grand door made of entirety of gold. And um, as you um, get closer, there's something written in Primordial. I don't think you know Primordial. Well, I'm going to check if I know Primordial. <coughs> <coughs> I don't know Primordial. The session of coughing. No. Yeah. Okay. You don't know it. No. You match. You, you, you understand know. some words. That's Gerasim. I'm gonna... Can I put a piece of paper and copy the writing? Like with the... Do you have a piece of paper? <coughs> yeah. <coughs> You're okay? But it through the, through the mouth. <coughs> So I'm gonna do the thing with a piece of charcoal and the paper. Okay, so you perch on top and you start copying this. And um, I'm gonna walk on the side of the wall so <laughs> I can reach the... Yeah. You start copying this. Okay, then I'm gonna knock at the door quickly. One minute. Open it. You're opening it. And inside you see um, walls with uh, and a gentle breezy air just uh, caressing over you. Um, stained glass windows that have this colorful pattern inside and marble floors and uh, tapestries on the walls with flowers, plants, um, elements native to the, the Green Kingdom, luxurious furnitures and uh, priceless artwork. Um, do I see anywhere written the proprietor, how they used to do in medieval times, like the date of the castle and... Yeah, you <laughs> assume it's the thing that you copied. Yes, the thing that you, I copied. Mm-hmm. Okay. And um, as do you move past the hallway? Yeah, I'm gonna start quickly running at my full speed uh, through the rooms and see if I... See There's some. many rooms. Like, but you go through, through. I'm gonna zoom through all, all the rooms at high speed to see if I notice something. Investigation, and but this is gonna take like an hour. No, no, this is why I'm running at full speed. I just want to zoom in, zoom out to see if I notice someone, something, okay. everything. Investigation. Thing. 
Advantage or normal? Normal. Ok, I'm gonna... Roll. I'm gonna roll. Um, 15. So with a 15, you zoom very fast. You see colors, you see furniture, you see all these elements. And you also see two things that uh, distract your hair, your uh, hair, distract your uh, visage. It's two basins in different parts of the castle. One is a basin with a red liquid inside and um, no inscription. And the other one is a stone basin with a silvery liquid that boils. With inscriptions? Yeah, with an inscription. What does it say? It's in primordial. Copy it again. Okay. Uh, and then I'm gonna start, if I see any portraits or tapestry depicting people, I'm gonna watch the footnote to see who is in them. Okay. There's no tapestries or uh, portraits with people. Okay. I'm gonna run back to, uh, no, run back to the biggest uh, window that has uh, stained glass and it's a bit wonky or uh, broken. You find one that is already broken and, and take a bit a of piece. colored glass. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I'm gonna go back to my party. Mm -hmm. And as I reach the party, I'm gonna ask, uh, who of you knows primordial language? Are... You don't know it's primordial, this ah, language. Okay, this language. I'm a blinding, shining apple. I can't look right now. He's blinded, yeah. He's a happy But you know. I speak <coughs> the celestial languages, if that helps for anything. No. You don't know if, if that is or is okay. not. I do not. I also know celestial. The, but... Ah, so you know it's not, okay. Yeah. Uh... Whilst waiting for Jen, could I have tried to deduce something using my nature skill? Yes. I'd like to deduce whether this <clears throat> tree could survive without uh, some of its branches. Definitely. There's in, in the spring season, which is all the time in the Greenlands in this part of the world, uh, you could always uh, pluck and sort of do, I don't know the word in English, but uh, you could um, make it make make it into another tree. Like a sapling. Yeah, okay. making a sapling. Uh, Pax, I'd like to cut off a small branch for this. Um, I'd like experiment something. Would you mind me doing so? Do you mean experiment now? Yes, I have all, everything at my disposal. Okay. Could help us. I think if Jen doesn't come back with people we can talk to in there, we just make a root ball. We, we there's, take a branch. There's also Monkey and Lina still on the side of the thing. If they lose, like we're waiting for something, they keep watching, uh, like uh, pocket watch. They s do they have an apple with them? Hmm? Do they have an yeah, apple? Lena has it. It's all she's holding it. <coughs> if we, uh, are, does Castiel know what the root ball is? Uh, he definitely knows now. Right. It's a kind of a, you take a branch, but you need to split this and then make it. I can yeah. explain. With them. Can I get three pieces of stained glass? Yeah. Gonna come back with three pieces <coughs> of stained glass and uh, start handing them out to Castiel uh, and to. I'm gonna go next to Pax with my stained glass on, uh, on top of my eyesight and put it in front of his froggy eyes. And explain that I found this writing that is weird and I don't understand it and everything I saw so far. Do I burn if I open my eyes? Uh, you're still blinded. This lasts for 10 minutes. I don't know if 10 minutes. Uh, One minute, please. What do you just know? The spell, but the effect that I'm putting on it. Blinding effect. Yeah, it's 10 minutes. The condition, per se. Still can't see shit. Uh, but I think well, any people inside. Uh, no, not that I saw, but I was uh, very brief. Bro, let's make a root ball and plant new knowledge in Green Spring. Fine. I'll cut off some branches then. Also, don't you, Castiel, have any spells to detect uh, or uh, learn new languages? I do. 
What about this? He also I don't have him on me. He also detected the magic. So, the tree shines with the yellow light. That means um, it's, it's from Solace's domain. And um, also, it's, um, it's, it's, it's giving you the feeling of um, sort of enchantment and transmutation, I think it would be. Okay. Around that area. Um, and everything else. Uh, the garden, the underneath your feet, the, the palace just shines with this weird, weird color. It's it's dark, it's pressing, it's ever so fluid and changeable. Makes you think of Shifty, but Shifty when you detected magic on him, it doesn't shine like this. Okay. It's something, it's a magic that you don't know, but it's definitely something. Uh, we, then I'd like to attempt something. Have a glass recipient. I have several. What do you take me for? Or so. I explained the root bond, which is basically taking a vivid branch, uh, splitting it so it can uh, grow from that branch, putting it into uh, a place where it can uh, root to form this sapling, uh, filled with a lot of dirt, but also in as rounded of a glass recipient as you have, so it can act as a greenhouse uh, and also water it. So it's basically a future sapling, it'll root into a sapling. I will have yeah. my familiar cut some branches, which I will direct him using the stained glass uh, mm-hmm. so that I'm not blinded. Mm-hmm. I will collect some of them. Mm-hmm. I'll prepare some recipients with dirt. How many? Uh, I think five. But one of these recipients, will be prepared using the vial of Sabath water I have. Mm-hmm. And uh, that I keep for myself. Okay. So he's doing something, he's uh, pouring water from one recipient into the the, uh, the other glasses, and he's, she's take, he's taking five branches. Um, coming next to... The fact that uh, an hour has passed, you thinking about this, uh, Lina, <laughs> Lina and the monkey uh, point to the um, hourglass or to the pocket watch and they start going. So he's direction. not blinded anymore. Um, yes. And we're gonna go back to uh, Paul over here. The mushroom. The mushroom. And just the mushroom. <laughs> he does not see what happens. Okay. And uh, see what happens. <laughs> the mushroom. Does he perceive his surroundings? Mm? Does he perceive his no. surroundings? No, no he just know, he knows. He's aware of the fact of the fact that he's in a pocket. Uh, and this he's, humidity. He's gonna he's gonna run for the next hour mm-hmm. and a half. Um, cool. Mushroom. And this is what what you're you're doing. Yes. Yeah. Running for for the next hour and a half. I'm half you get to do a short rest. <coughs> Ooh, he's a fun guy now. <laughs> yeah, he's very fun. And uh, the next hour and a half. Let's see how Shaq was doing. Coming back to Shaq. Okay, so there was a guy in a room <coughs> that was pretty unkempt and he had no no hair, hair no whatsoever. hair whatsoever. He's next to a forest and st- and standing in the middle of the forest, just standing there. Okay, I will casually approach him, not in a jog, but in a, you know, brisk walk. Uh, as I approach him, you know, like 10 feet or something like that, could you, dis- is there anything about him that... Uh, he has intense eyes, uh, he looks rather thin, and he's bald completely, in raggedy clothes. And as you approach, he says, um, hurrying up somewhere? I immediately cast Vita Scry and look at his anatomy. Uh, how do you cast it? Is it something? Um, it's it's not actually something you know, like spell, normal spell casting. Mm-hmm. Basically, all, all of Shaq's spells have somatic. Mm-hmm. As like he's just focusing for a bit and uh, ju- 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 just a bit of jitter, you know, in his uh, in his demeanor. Mm-hmm. And as you are concentrating and have a bit of jittery in your demeanor and start shaking. Uh, you look at his anatomy and it's all wrong inside. 
He has appendages and organs you assume you never heard of. He has a, a bunch of hearts. He doesn't have lungs. The throat is modified and it's reaching to another stomach. And you feel the feel you have the feeling that his insides are coated with scales. But not snake scales, no, oh, these are iron like scales. It's a Castile creation. Okay. No, it's not, not, my... it's not close to Castile's creation. It's all it's not an abomination. It feels like a s entirely new anatomy, species. like something yeah. that I've uh, <laughs> it does it seem utilitarian for eating something in a way? Or for running, for effort, does... Um, you're trying to associate it with uh, Jormungandr, which is... Uh, so I, I assume you used Vitascry with Jormungandr. Yeah, I'm trying to associate and what this creature Jormungandr would be optimized for. doesn't have vowels or stuff. He is just pure matter. Uh huh. Okay. So it's nothing like that. <coughs> no, no. I'm, I was trying to associate like what would his organs point that he's okay, doing. Like, for example, good. okay. You know how, for example, the horses have multiple hearts. That means for sustained effort. Uh, it's a five on my medicine. It's soothing <coughs> your five to the situation. Um, you don't make any sense of it, but it's weird. He's staring at you. Are you running somewhere? I would actually want to uh, to ask you the same. Who are you? And uh, he says, "I'm Dio. You can call me Dio." Dio. He smiles. Dio. <laughs> you are definitely aware of the race that is going on currently, aren't you? Smiles wider. Ah, I see. We are merely participants to this, aren't we? Uh, how about we make uh, proper introductions? I am a... I am a chancellor in internship. Shakla Shak, nice to meet you. And I extend the hand. He extends one hand and says, you're a liar in internship. And I, when I extend the hand, I want to squeeze his hand like, like one of those... Uh, you know, uh, obnoxious handshakes where the other... You squeeze your hand, he squeezes back, giving a constitution saving throw. Okay, saving throw, you say. Mm -hmm. Oh, fuck. 14. He breaks it. Oh my, what? He breaks my hand? Okay, it takes uh, five... Sounds appropriate. Five uh, damage. Like, he what? breaks mm -hmm. my... my mm -hmm. uh, what the hell? Oh, fuck. Oh my god. Ah, and I, and I, I pull my, my, my hand back and... Uh... Okay. I got the sense of, of what we are actually working with. So what is that you want, Dio? I want to see... You hear like you, you crack trying your fingers to, back. Trying to... I want to <laughs> see if you can be any use to me. Why would I be any of use to you? Who are you to order me around? <laughs> yeah, that would be the the, the, the gist if I didn't have my hand back. It, it <laughs> seems that you're not with the humans. If I could sprout wings and fly... Perhaps, but how can one be with the humans? Uh, you don't need to be there to aid me. You have to be in Greenspring. He has like this sort of small tick. He does at the end of the sentence. You said tick. Mm -hmm. And who and might you... Who might I be aiding? Would I be aiding yourself or someone on your behalf? Yes. <coughs> mm -hmm. Say the name. Say the name. Not that name. Doesn't have a name. You are just asking me if out of politeness. Uh, I guess I will go on. Oh, it's with not my... out of politeness, it's this or you die. Um, give me whatever you communicate with your Mungandar. I would say it's not a religion, but for the purposes of like a higher connection, give me a religion check. 
for an actual 24 22. Uh, you sort of have, you know, like in Spider Man, you have a spidery feeling. Yeah. You fl your commander flashes through your eyes, you see the green eyes, and you feel a compulsory feeling. And it sort of says, run. Oh my god. Okay. So, does one, one thing before I, I, I have that. Uh, the, the the run thing does he smell a very strong matter? I'm guessing that it's no, no, no. It smells of something completely off. Okay. It reminds you a little bit, just a little bit, in the area of completely off, like gray smells. Mm -hmm. <coughs> but it's way off. <coughs> It's a coffee session, yes. Coffee session. We have allergies. It's allergy seasons here. I'm allergic to choking myself. I'm allergic to BBG. Yeah. Okay, so. As I said, no necessary connection. Bye. And like with this like second look, Chuck continues his jogging. He's dashing away from it. I do get the sense that he's something really powerful, right? Yeah, from... very powerful, and oh, okay. something starts, before you leave, start, something starts radiating from the ground itself uh, in a 200 foot cube, and you have to make me a wisdom save. Is it a magically... Yeah, okay. you roll with advantage. Yep. Oh, it's yeah, magic you haven't da, encountered da, before. Da, 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 da. so bad for okay. Shark, honestly. Yeah. 18. Entity and serenity, like they live so, uh, <laughs> With an 18, <laughs> just get to, like, you, just, you just meet the DC and you beat it because it's a thing. Uh, but you feel for a second that it's a sympathy to, towards it. It's sort of a, a, a thread that's beat. You are being pulled for a second. You're not yourself and you're being pulled towards this creature, being pulled in its in a presence. mental way, right? Yeah. And you just shrug it off and run. Yeah, like uh, Shaggy is running and like he really intensified his efforts and uh, has this really scared look on his face as he's doing so. It's a scared uh, plus a angry face that, uh, you know, second entity coming after him. Poor guy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, cool. Two hours passed, coming back to you guys. Shaggy <laughs> still running. <laughs> Castle packs and great. Now we have engine. a few root balls. Five specifically. Five root balls. And one with the, the Sabbath one. I know of four. One is hidden. No, it's it's not, but you don't know what's in it. Okay. Um brr, noble astrals. Brr, my judgment here on knowledge is that uh, it's not just a uh, fruit to be gorged on, but something to be propagated, uh, shared with all, or made to grow by as many people having it as possible, not kept as a precious thing, just some chosen get to hold. You're talking like this as you're being blinded? On an apple. On an apple. Yes. He's not blinded anymore, you said we spent uh, a moment. Yeah, 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 exactly, sorry. As you're not being blinded with but the stained glass. But I'm holding the stained glass next to your face. Wait, was that? Yeah? Was that? A stained glass. Where, where did you get that from? Uh, from the palace, I got it. I look through it around, see if... You can look at the apples now through the same glass. So I'm sitting like but this we one want pieces, uh, one... Uh, oh. uh, and that is my judgment, and I think we're ready to do the final part of this trial and head home. If you decide you're the king, you just make the, the judgment. So. Just the trial. So, wait a minute, anyone can pass judgment here? Because if so, I'd like to pass judgment on the last remaining apple. What judgment would you like us to pass? I need that apple. It's more deep than it's the apple. What judgment do I like to pass? Let's discuss, propose any judgment you'd like to add. So. As far as I'm concerned, yes, I agree fully with you. The knowledge shouldn't be located here and hoarded by a select few. Everyone in Greenspring should have it. And I will not accept no other compromise, but seeing how your relatives 
ever so kindly ordain us to wallow in our own shit and muck, I wouldn't like them to have any apples. I would like to ensure that everyone has proper access to them. So you're mad with that the other guys didn't give you any information, so you want to destroy the last apple? I'm not talking about destroying, that would be a waste. I'd like to take it. From our saplings, many apples will grow and the green springians will have of that knowledge. We will plant them in public open spaces. But to take these apples is to sabotage the trial of the others, I imagine. Why? I agree with Pax. It's four champions already and only f five champions already and only four apples. Huh? And maybe this was sabotage from the start. And sorry. And you want to sabotage us further? So, when you got here, you saw Lena. Just recapping because I don't think you got the whole picture. You saw Lena. You saw Emmerich. Yeah. They both took an apple. Your there's two left, and you also saw Prince Fini and the eldest come zooming back. <laughs> oh, okay. One, two, three. So yes, I doubt the the small child will reach this, and I would consider that uh, fruit of knowledge wasted. Hence, I like to give it to people that could actually use it. Let's do this. We may take an apple, but we will not give it to anyone until we together decide that someone deserves it. So we're taking the last one as well. So you're sabotaging the chance the of the last them. one we can leave. Why not? Why? Because there is no reason to not give the little one his own chance. Do you think you will reach this place? I know not, but an apple one or more of the dozens, hundreds, our generations of saplings will create this, not the this yes, Generations, people will not be alive for long enough for that. I say this belongs to everyone. And if we meet the child along the way, fine, he can have it. But uh, leaving it here would be a waste. But the task for the child was also to get at the edge of the world and pass uh, justice to the seed of knowledge. If you take the that chance. of the world. Yes, I The did. end of the world for him I can bring with the flick of my hand and then have him raised back. <laughs> that's the end of the life, uh, Castiel. Huh? Let's not fool ourselves. I'm sorry, that's, Jen. That's all wonderful, but let's, let's focus a little, little less on our child murder and a little more on uh, fairness here. Uh, Let's take one, get it where it merits to go, and let's leave the kid his chance. I will not let that there without an agreement that I get one piece of that apple. We've just discussed how <coughs> saplings belong to all. Yes, and, and I shall apple take should get to the meritus. If Merit will be shown and knowledge will be best stored in you. We will judge that after this trial. To name a price of yours is not judgment, fairness. It is, it is judgment. simply asking for something for yourself. It's not for myself, but I can. So, this is my proposal. I like a piece of that apple. It has to be a big piece, doesn't have to be anything. Why are you being so selfish? You may... We are wasting we, a lot of time. When we select who merits the apple, you may put in your claim to a slice of the apple. But let's judge that then. I'm sorry. Sure. And I will trust you to hold it until then. Fine. I Upon the agreement the apple we until then. And also I'm on it, so get both me and it down, please. Fine, then we're leaving. Yay. Am I plucked? You're, you're plucked. being plucked, and I'm gonna leave you as you're being plucked to get some water. Um, and you describe how you leave. I'm plucking the frog, and I'm putting it in the baggie. I'm tying the baggie to humanness. Uh, as I'm tying the baggie, I'm considering the following. You think you're gonna come back anytime soon? Because if not, I could ride the humanness. That would help us with our speed along. 
I have no idea how any of this works, so you can. But we should get uh, Genevieve into her carpet, unless Genevieve, real quick, we're gonna need a fast answer for you. There's a red-headed vampire woman in a nearby mysterious tower. We could drop you off there you and sure? get you again some other time, weeks from now, probably. So you, you got she the would be you, in danger. Okay. Yes, oh my but I want to give her the option. Make it her call. Uh, you said you saw a vampire, red-headed. She yes. resembled you, but way more bestial in nature. I assume she'd be a pure blood. And not I a, think you saw my grandma. Well, and this comes as a shock me. with you, for you guys because you saw the vampires, not vampires like Jenny's mixed uh, race. Vampires themselves were extinct. Right, so do you want us to leave you behind with your vampire relatives? Because the only reason we can get to here in a day and back is because we have Saturnay's speed fire gold potion. Yes. If we have to come back and get you some other time, it'll Don't be worry. days and days. Don't worry. I, I can get back on myself. Just uh, point me towards my... Uh, it is north. thousands of kilometers from to Green Spring. It's okay. You're certain? Yes. How certain? Very certain. Where's my uh, grandma? Let's Keep fly. in mind, I have no idea whether that's a rim or not. Let's fly her up to the tower, then Are we you can get wait. Back in your tapestry. We can give no. you, we can give you two minutes to see what's there and decide if you're back in the tapestry or remaining. Is that okay? It's a more than fair. Let's fly her up to the tower. Then you're gonna be riding uh, my steed. So Get comfortable. <laughs> the gen steed. You also need to hold the frog. Well, I'm holding. Okay, no. fine. Because if she stays there, there's no point in her having. If something happens, and yeah, sure. So, Jen is getting on the undead Pegasus. You're getting with the frog tied to your neck on the um, on humanness. You're starting flying and gliding and casting long stride. I assume with. Yes. Yeah. Without. Without long stride. Without okay, the... and flying by, um, taking um, taking an abrupt uh, jolt through the canyon, and flying by the smile, which is the closest, and you see there uh, two figurines standing at the the smile, just at the porch of it, standing next to a statue. You pass by. Recognize the figurines or the statue? Yeah, it's uh, the statue you, you can't really because it's from a, a top view. It's bronze, irony, it's the same um, iron uh, feeling that you got also in the, in the canyon. But the figures are clearly uh, the one who did Monkey and Lena. And from atop, you see coming from, from, from a distance more boats. Are they dressed in black robes? Mm hmm. So, drop my boulders on there. It's the first time public transportation has one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Don't say this yet. But it's just one way. It's so, one way. Uh, they're standing at the smile and more at the edge of a statue. You don't know which statue is it, and more boats are approaching them. So, uh, they have the same black robes that Monkey and uh, Lena had before. So, we can all the boats yeah. as you look down. You can give me a perception, but all the boats have, uh, and you're, you're, you, you do know this, because all the boats have dead people celebrated inside with all their belongings and stuff, and being um, uh, carried. carried by boatsmen with black robes. Yeah, the Green Spring and Mortuary boats, we, yeah. we've seen them yeah. leave the city. Okay. But they are waiting before the boats reach, reach them at the end of a s statue. Okay, I rolled the 25 for perception. You start piercing as you're also getting a little bit lower, and the boats are getting closer and closer. And uh, you see one boatsman waving. Uh, Lena and Monkey are waving back. Um, do you keep there for one minute to watch what's happening? Or moving past? I'm not driving the horse. I'm telling you what I see with my sharp eyes. Bro, what statue is it? 
What statue is it? Ah, with that, you see, it's a uh, sort of another boatman, but it's, the boat is not really um, curved. It's flat, like a ferry. The statue is with the boatman. Not with the boatman. It's more of a ferryman. A ferryman. Does it it's, have a schedule? It's a ferryman. Uh. <laughs> uh, made of bronze. Sort of rusted away. But and as she says this, you know of a legend of a ferryman. It's very common. It's hebdomatic, even. It's uh, Saturni's uh, right hand. It's Karen, the ferryman that so takes the souls to the other world. Whether he ever takes them back. I recall knowledge with religion. Takes yeah. them from the Sabbath water into the Astral Sea. Yeah. It's the 16th. Never takes them back. Yeah, I don't think they're going to manage to get back like It'll be really sad if they just die in the process of trying to show yeah, it'll be But out. as you sit this and wait for one minute, uh, one of the boatsmen that's uh, shaking its hand, um, it's the one that leads the other boats, are reaching the statue and Lena and Monkey, and two of the boatsmen, in the same time with Lena and Monkey, they all jump and switch places. The, like the last second and the last uh, remaining touch of one feet uh, leaves the boat, the other steps in and they go past the ferryman and as they go past the ferryman, the boats disappear and the, the bodies just are being plucked inside the Sabbath water. <gasps> they teleported back to the city. But now two other figures are on the side of the... We don't know of anything, we've never seen anything like magic uh, of this sort of caliber, thousands no, of but now that of you think of now that you think of it, That's every Saturni day, thousands and thousands of boatsmen with boats carrying dead people leave, but you never saw them return, but you keep having boats and boatsmen, and they leave and... They return. That is so smart. <laughs> That's too much emotion for a mushroom. <laughs> that is so smart, guys. <laughs> uh, but two other people are there. Who are they? You don't know. Like, you're from afar, but they start walking backwards. I'm gonna yell, hey, uh, Archie, say hey, Blaze. Uh, one pulls a cloak, and you see Blaze's white demeanor, and then flares up in a fire. He waves up, and the other pulls its its cloak, and you see no one. It's nothing. It's just a floating cloak. That's so smart. Can I? So if I if I watch this whole scene, can I copy the same gesture they did to re, to place uh, hmm? to switch places with the boatsman? With the boatsman yeah, but the know. boatsman that they switch places to were this person that. It's just wearing a cloak. I don't know. It's a it's a cloak. It's a floating cloak and and uh, blaze. And monkey and Lina left. So you figured that they left with the seed, but they left okay. at least blaze behind. Okay. An invisible arches. Mm. Uh, we we head on to the towers. You head on to the towers, uh, blaze. Yeah. Uh, do you have more room there? One minute passes. <laughs> we, yeah. we don't slow down to answer. Was flying away. <laughs> <laughs> you hear Blaze's uh, voice. Oh, this sad and hollow. I might come back for you. With my grandma. <laughs> <laughs> Join me and grandmama for tea. You will be the tea. <laughs> Seeming semblance. Uh, you, you hear another, uh, uh, as you fly by and you reach the two towers. Uh, you, I assume, glide in front of the same balcony. Uh, give me a perception. Natural 20 for a total of 26. Okay, you fly over and the... Um, oh no, the 28, tower, sorry. With a 28, you can see, like, you scoop around. There's no red figurine and the, the towers are empty. You lied to me. Empty, and they look sort of abandoned. You lied to me. Be- because something was here earlier and it's not here now, I lied to you. Yes, how dare you tempt me with That's not how object permanence works. Yeah. Uh, we hover outside the balcony. 
for how long? Two minutes. This was the agreed upon time. Two minutes, yeah. We can stretch it if you want. You said two minutes. No, we inspect it, it further. further. You hop on, hop no. on. You sit uh, outside of the balcony to me. Don't, don't I, either, either way, I need no, to... No, in the first 10 yeah. seconds, don't you want to use your two minutes checking inside? Yeah, okay, I'm going to use the two minutes. Either way, I have to have a flat surface to enter the tapestry, so... Okay, I can... we can try something as well if that... you searching for the vampire doesn't work. You hop inside. Yeah. You give me another investigation. But do they know how vampires look? No. I mean, it's a legend, so basically... You uh, stereotypical, yeah. yeah. Stereotypical. 21. So with the 21, you sweep in two minutes the, the place, and you find um, a cellar with coffins. Uh, there's no one inside. You find grime, you find all sorts of mismatched clothes, you find broken tables and stale food for from hundreds of years ago because everything gets moldy and dusty and it's just the bones remaining you at least you assume it's food and then you see some sort of big jars with a with a liquid dark dark ruby like liquid inside open the jars it smells very delightful it kind of reminds you of Coco Song. I put my index finger in it, <laughs> smell it, lick it. Does it taste like human blood? Do you know how human blood tastes? No, like blood. Does. <laughs> I, you do now. What, how do I know? You don't know. I am not here upon me. Ah, yes, it tastes exactly like uh, Cassio's human blood, but not, not his per se. It's delicious. You want more? I compose myself and close the jar. I examine the coffins. Do they have like how many are there? And do I have twelve like, coffins? Do they have names written on them? No. Like no, they're very rude and sort of brutalistic. Are they empty? Yeah, all of them. Yeah. I inspect. I inspect. The, I look at the ceiling. <laughs> You look at the ceiling, the ceiling, and on the ceiling, there's a, you see nothing. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> if I inspect the inside of the coffin, are they, you know, mush like someone has recently sleep in them? Or? You try to get the temperature. They're cold. <laughs> yeah, but the vampires are also cold. Yes, it's uh, true, Touche. I'm <laughs> almost up. Uh, he lost blankets. <laughs> I'm uh, yelling for my grandma. How? Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> it's me. I have come to rescue you from this savage life. <laughs> it's me, you're not trying to do it. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. Uh, do I, I inspect the coffins. Are there any of them with red hair in it? Uh, how much did you roll with an investigation? 20? 21. Um, you find uh, one strand of red hair and one. I'm gonna make a note, pack it, leave it there. Okay. I'm gonna text you what I wrote. Okay. And then, gonna, then I'm going to enter the tapestry <coughs> holding my nose, pinching my nose, right? See you on the other side. Roll her up. Oh, and let's ride. No, <laughs> we're not gonna need this to go faster, so uh, the horse goes inside as well. You leave the horse inside? No. Uh, My horse will go inside the tapestry. Does it fit? Oh uh, no! Actually, you can't. How how large is a horse? That's large. Literally large. Can as it far fit as... in this size? No. I think you can put that. Can, can you like? Try I don't know. If, 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 if it, it's... maybe if you disassemble, <laughs> this one disassembles. <laughs> I, can, I can make is it. Is it like, the, like a the real horse? horse? No, a disassemblable horse. <laughs> You just pull the neck back and all, say, and yeah. the legs. You're gonna do yoga, yoga to the bones. <laughs> <laughs> no, we can put it in a nice box and write the Lego dead horse. So. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, just make sure you have. I'm just gonna start the folding the horse into a natural <laughs> positions. <laughs> The wings are gonna start falling off and get reabsorbed into Castile's cloak. So there, there's a speed increase because we're not towing a glider, yep. but there's a speed decrease because no more long strider. Okay, so it's the same, basically. Don't you have multiple scrolls of long strider? Uh, covered five hours. The five hours coming. 
Yeah, okay. well, that's 10 feet compared to your... It's 10 feet per every six seconds. Yeah. You know, I know, but and 10 feet compared to your, what, 1,800 feet. Yeah, but it multiplies, because the thing multiplies the base speed. Yeah, it, it doesn't matter right. with right. the fact that you don't sure. have, no longer have the undead horse gliding with you, and you have long strider you can, like, uh, power through. And as you glide by, you see again um, Blaze waving. You fly by. I will uh, drop him some rations. From from up above. Yeah. I'll have the familiar <laughs> the fly by and him. <laughs> have some rations <laughs> dropped onto him. It's not much, some apples, meat some boys. meat. All, now all puree. <laughs> he's they, like, thank you. Do they see a silhouette behind him with red hair? And he's like, <laughs> no. no. Uh, so you leave, and uh, then we're gonna go very fast. And about one hour into your journey, <clears throat> you see downwards a small. Also fast, but not as fast as you. Small sort of dash of, of, of something. Um, as you, you can give me a perception. You, you think it's another horse? Just a horse. I think it's something. Not a horse, just something. It's a six. It's a six. It's something. But going back to the thing that's striding, it's Prince uh, Philip, and in another hour, which means in nine hours. He reaches uh, the canyon, and you are miraculously brought back. <gasps> I, I'm in the pocket. You're being pulled out of the pocket, and he is watering you. <laughs> <laughs> My young lord, thou art kind. <laughs> You're so kind, you stayed so quiet. <laughs> It's quite an introspective moment for you me. You miss the giant, but it's okay. The what? Yeah. But it's okay. It was fine. I, I managed. I waved at them. It was nice. Um. So what will, do we do? Is this the seed of knowledge? I assume it is. Where are we? Where are uh, you're in the canyon. You oh. see the Grand Palace. You see uh, six, uh, 60 feet apart um, from you guys. The, the tree with the golden apples that shine as the sun. Uh, first thing Leo does is pinch himself. He's like, this must be a dream. What? Uh, well, Come on, Chancellor. We have business to do. Uh, uh, the Chancellor... Uh, no, he doesn't have that. Um, well, yes. I, I see the golden apples. Yeah, no. Plural? Hmm? Golden apples. Apple. 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 And he says, I'm seeing the double. This must be for us. You definitely are worthy of it, my young lord. Okay. Stella says uh, we're gonna be blinded if we go very fast, close to it. So maybe like close your eyes. No, I... you don't need to close. I'm gonna close my eyes and I'm gonna you're gonna lift me up. Okay. Yeah, of course. Uh-huh. And he sort of tries to focus and count and goes. Uh, closing his eyes in that, that direction, and he reaches his hand. Come on, Chancellor, beat me up! <laughs> I don't want to face this. You also, you're also blinded, so you're gonna roll me an investigation. Get that oh, back. Oh, we're going there. Oh yeah. no, my god. Okay. An investigation. A disadvantage? No, if you roll above a 10, you're gonna aid the little prince, so he's gonna, not gonna have a disadvantage. Gonna have Let's roll see more. what's my... Uh... That's gonna be a total of eleven. There we go. Wow. Seventeen. Wow. Look. That's there a seventeen. Uh he he puts it, he takes it. Oh, it was so easy. Uh he takes it. <laughs> he takes it. Uh he goes outside of the radius and he says, it looks very beautiful. I know exactly what to do with it. He puts it in the pocket. And then he says, but we can't leave the tree here, right? Because who stole it, it's not nice. You have to, do you burn stuff? (laughs) (laughs) Or you make it chop chop? To destroy stuff and make murder. (laughs) 
<laughs> Can we uh, shield knowledge? <laughs> I, I would message uh, Stella and ask her, Stella, are you okay with burning thus the tree? <laughs> uh, do you have speak with my animals or anything that can actually disaster this? I mean, I, I hope message makes me translate it. No, no, it does no, not. No. And it's also you doing shh. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm like looking at. Then I'm not trying like, to like this. Like this. Message like. <laughs> and she yeah, said, no. uh, If you want to ask her something, I can ask for you. How can you speak with Stella so? Yeah, I can understand any much. Oh. I'm ah. magic. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and mushrooms. Who <laughs> uh, told me to water you? She told me, of course, I would have died otherwise. That's true. Um, I'm. Eating. Um, I think. Instead, I do not have. Uh, I do not have uh, an axe with me or something to cut a tree, young lord. Does Stella breathe fire by any chance? <laughs> Just checking. No. 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 Well. Then we're gonna chop it. And he takes like a small knife and goes <laughs> and starts like tugging at its roots. It's a very slow process, and uh, you know that uh, it's half time, sort of, because uh, it's mid um, mid midday. Uh, young lord, I feel like time is uh, thinking, and I suppose we can leave the fate to the tree to the hebdoms. Uh, hebdom. No, we have to pass the judgment. Help me, Chancellor. Don't be useless. <laughs> 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 are you already? Second. You are you not? Um, okay, uh, not. Uh, the <laughs> chancellor will take the small sword uh, from the chancellor and start uh, cutting <laughs> as I'm bardic inspiring myself himself with a poem about not doing the most logical stuff, but still doing it for the sake of. You know what? If we're smart, we're gonna just cut their roots because they're smaller, and she starts cutting the roots. Of course, just cut the roots. <laughs> so it's a job that requi- requires you to roll uh, good on. For normal uh, trees, the roots are much more abundant than the yeah. first. roots. For yeah. normal trees, the roots are ah. the Very whole deep. tree yeah. underneath. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it is not a normal tree, is it? I yeah, it's not. The roots are like... I feel like I'm in a trip. What do I roll? You roll me. Um, if you want to roll, usually you roll with the dexterity. You can put poison right? on yeah. the... You roll me with your weapon. I feel like you're on a mushroom uh, trip. Proficiency. Okay. And let's see how, she uh, was how on much with fitness beats, which means uh, d20 plus uh, your yes. plus your dex mod and uh, proficiency. Okay. With so the weapon that you're six. holding. Yeah. Okay. And I bardic inspire myself as well. Uh, That's you. a natural 20. Okay. So okay. this job is finished very fast. It's like 20 minutes. You you have this like the poem that you're singing to yourself is it's inspiring, and you you move very fast. Okay. With chopping wood and chopping wood and chopping wood. How much wood? Uh, yeah, I'm a dwarf and I'm chopping wood. <laughs> okay, I did it. I'm chopping the wood now. Okay, you chopped it. Are thy needs satisfied, young lord? Mm-hmm. Okay. Now let's push it. Sorry. You push the the. You give me a strength. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no. Um. That is a. Ten plus zero. From t- temptation. Uh, you try to, but it's much too heavy. And she says, well, he's gonna die anyway. Let's go. Um, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go. I Take plan- the kit and throw it against the tree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, against thank you, like- voice of reason. <laughs> <laughs> um, I thought you have more magic. I have uh, magic, young lord. Uh, most of it is uh, for communication, uh, manipulation of uh, information. Can you inform the tree that is much died? I feel like it has gotten the best information it can by the swing of our swords. Okay. I Let's do jump, have... hop, hop to Stella. Let's go. <laughs> go on, Stella. Are you not afraid of Norris's uh, wrath, young lord? No, let's go through the subterranean uh, uh, cabin that I found at, to the left. Let's go. <laughs> and uh, you start swooshing uh, backwards. 
looks at the um, cavern. And he says, knee up! <laughs> <laughs> Constitution save. Oh. <laughs> you must succeed, that, otherwise you're not gonna make it, Paul. It's up to you. I know, I don't want to do Oh, no, this cash. Oh. This is a 15 plus 5, that's a 20. With yeah, with a 20, you definitely you're gonna hold it for the rest of your journey. So, uh, next thing that you see is approaching uh, is uh, the tall mountains that you're, you're flying over humanness. What do you do? Shit. Well, we do the same thing, I guess. You go in the air? We go in the air. Uh, how is your situation? Are you We're tied to humanness. And also the frog is tied to humanness or you're just The holding frog it? is tied to humanness and to me because I don't trust anything. And uh, I will do something I'd like to do before I go in into the clouds is have my familiar wake me up if I start falling asleep. Does your familiar need to breathe? No, it's a magical construct. Okay. Uh, cool. You go up and uh, fly higher and higher and higher, and you feel that um, your uh, it's hard to breathe, and you're you're left without air. And we want to see the the roll after the break. Uh, guys, please check our uh, advertising bids, and uh, we're gonna be here in just a couple of minutes. Couple see of minutes. Soon. Advertising bid. Oh, oh. I can hit that. Adorable notice, mother you're a weirdo. Like and subscribe, dear viewer. Like and subscribe. Not that I wish to imply you've been sleeping on the job. No one is more deserving of a break than viewers, but all our efforts on this channel would have gone to waste, unless, well, let's just say your moment to like our videos has come again. The right viewer in the right place can make all the difference in the world. So subscribe, dear viewer. Subscribe and grow this channel. Welcome back where we left off uh, on Humaness, the purple Pegasus uh, flying up close to the sky um, as uh, someone was sneezing, <laughs> as uh, Castile was clinging onto it, holding and being tied also to humanness and to the frog that once was a prince, but now it's just a frog. Pax Evander Green, everyone, Green, everyone, uh, and uh, you're soaring through the air. As, towards... we, as we climb yeah. and climb and climb, can I real quick? Can you? Put me in one of those bottles real quick, cause the air's getting pretty thin. There's less air in the bottle. Not for a frog. You don't fit in the bottle. I can no, 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 no recipient bigger. Close the bag. Can you fill it with water? Not that type of water. <laughs> 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 Do you have anything you can fill with water? No. Water. Unless. How lucky do you feel? Shouldn't be a risk. You're just then avoiding no. the thin air because no, I'm a problem. Maybe some wine. <laughs> how about a little? How about a little, little petri dish or some some shit? I with got a water. bunch of. Uh, <laughs> What could have been at a certain point called potions. Right. But they're gonna be partial water. You have no. I dropped my rations to the folk down 
I thought they may need it. From the water flask, pour a bit of water into your widest open recipient. I point at the, at the end. Yeah, that's where my water. You didn't toss all of our water. Oh, just mine. Oh, you have... I point to my pack to the side right, of the... Right, that's smart, see? I forgot you have your own stuff. Just some water in your widest... Sure, water. I'll Thank you. put the water in the flesh sack. It's impervious. Okay. You can... As the air is thinning, I stick my frog face into the bottle. Okay. And breathe... The bottle of water. The sack of water. The sack of water. <laughs> water sack. Um, okay, Thanks and the air is sack. thinning and thinning, and you're getting higher and higher. And please draw me a constitution saving throw. You're gonna roll with advantage to see if the, ra- the water runs after a while, when you run out of water. It's a 16. I'm not drinking it, I'm just breathing it. Okay, breathing it, maybe it spills. So with a 16, because the con save is uh, 18. high. So with an 18, you succeed. You keep uh, awake and you breathe the water, but not the same will happen to Castile, who think is, uh, is gonna keep his composure getting a little bit drowsy and sluggish, and then he just faints. Does my familiar try and wake me up? After you faint, yes. He's gonna try to slap you, and you wake up and you give me another con save. This one is a 23. Yes. 22, sorry. This time you sort of breathe uh, rare and sort of try to keep it relaxed in a state of semi-consciousness, but you're aware of the ride, and you're breathing very subtly through your nose. One, two, three, four, one. In and out. Shallow. Shallow breathing, breathing yeah. I'm wondering if Pax would not have been off better, you know, fainting rather than being attached to Castiel who has fainted. That is a very good question. Yeah. But he's also strapped on uh, the horse. Um, so you're passing through in this situation, and in another. Where are you guys? Humanist, you're on humanist. And another one hour passes, and you're approaching, you're out of the mountains. You see just um, rare air and, and pieces of clouds. And then after uh, you're out of the big towering mountains, you see then the forest. This time, uh, let's Approaching. avoid it. <coughs> It'll the long way around. If two of us are frogs, we're fucked. Mm. Or you're fucking. <laughs> or maybe it fixes me. Oh, yeah. I can fix you home, worst case scenario. Are we aware of a way around? Mm-hmm. We, we know that. It's wild magic. So it's not something you two are familiar with. That's what I'm asking. Are our characters aware of a way around? Ah, the forest, you mean, yes. not the curse. Okay, a way around the forest? <laughs> you, you can glance at your uh, at uh, your the other way around. So it's west. So it's your right, so it's west. And you see, at the horizon line ending, like the forest is ending, this like towering, gloomy forest. It's, um, it comes to an end at one point. So you have to make a small detour. How, small? How long? Like, what does the difference feel like compared? <clears throat> compared to going straight, Double it feels different. like at least at least two thirds, in the sense that you're gonna make. Two times, three times the distance that it's in front. So, uh, it's a big detour. Yeah, but two frogs. If you remember, um, if you remember, uh, the legend took the detour and uh, you sort of catch up with him because he took the detour. So it may be one hour delay in your calculations. It's one hour. Or more because his mount was faster than ours. We were uh, at the same speed by the end. They were neck and neck. The, can you, the big raven did slow down. Can you go over it? We tried and we were forced down into the forest by Because magic. the sun was scorching and that time was, was uh, dawn, so it wasn't that hot. Yeah, we're not going above. Midday is bad for uh, my skin conditions. And this time it's not like with the with the mountains that's covered with with clouds and you have like partially covered. But what part of mid- midday are we estimating? Um, you have it's the tenth hour, so you have still 
uh, two hours left of midday. Then it's dusk. Six hours of dusk then. Yeah. It's Eight one hours. hour detour and it's worth it. Sure. Yeah, then we'll take the detour. Okay, so you go around and you're gonna take one hour detour. Uh, cool. In the last hour, you're coming back, uh, knees up, uh, core strong, uh, <laughs> and uh, going under the mountains. Uh, that day passed, you're a couple of hours behind, and you're uh, just riding uh, Stella. Um, and just he starts um, humming something. <laughs> Uh, young lord, uh, just a cute curiosity of mine. What uh, is going to be your first action as appointed king, so to say? I'm gonna make this right again. Um, I'm just gonna have to address the fact that uh, not everybody which is accepting of all the races, and they, the protesters have to just chill a little bit because we need to reinforce the law. You agree completely with the law? No. No, no. no. we need to rewrite it so it's more inclusive, but also we have to be more vigilant for beings like the, the flame. flame. Yes. Yes. The yes. And I, I'm not stupid, I'm not very small, and the world is so big, and I need smart people by my side to help me write the laws. I have to agree, I was uh, a little bit at fault for not uh, looking. Uh, with uh, my true eyes at you, but I glimpsed some wisdom inside of them. Um, of course you glimpsed. I'm the, the smallest and the youngest. As the, what the fairy tales say. <laughs> they will see his sides. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna be a double spy, guys. Because you have wisdom. You have wisdom. I wanna tell you something. Are you ready? Oh. Are you ready? I wanna tell you something. I wanna sing you something. Oh God, yes. Okay. Look at my horse. My horse is amazing. Give it a kiss. Especially the like raisins. raisins. <laughs> <laughs> the tear just drops. You don't know if it's because it's uh, it's such shock or not. Just uh, the last breaks have just left. Here comes the giant, and you're going through uh, like a small ditch. <laughs> the under under a tunnel converts into a small ditch and above you you see sunlight. It's just above your head and he says, Don't peek. I the Chancellor closes his eyes just completely. Good Chancellor. Just such a good boy. <laughs> <laughs> good boy Chancellor. <laughs> and you hear Look at my Chancellor, my Chancellor is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> you have to do what you have to do. The next elections come up, and I have to have like the higher chances. Come on. Um, but the the ground thuds, and you hear just massive like bumps and thuds and uh, tremors. Oh, Stella, save us! <laughs> <laughs> Stella isn't a savior. I'm not really gonna save you. Close your eyes. This. <laughs> Uh, so this is how you pass the last two hours. Meantime, going back to you. Now we're in the hour number. Uh, we were at nine, 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 11 and you completed the detour. We persevere straight towards the city. Okay. So um, with your speed, you're gonna reach the uh, city in two. I it's a long time, ew. In a, ew, ew. Um, you have... Uh, you're gonna reach it in uh, three hours. Per your approximation. Perfect. As is, we're gonna get closer to the city. Um, I cannot. Uh, <laughs> whilst on the road. Backs. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, we may have to slow down. I will trust that uh, we're gonna be safe to reach the city. Why not? Because it's been going too smooth. You're a frog. That taken that into consideration, but uh, I think we should loop around the city. Have has dusk the dusk begun? One hour still. 
the dust begins. We see the city? No. Mm, let's get... Three hours at the speed of uh, 170, uh, 1,750 <coughs> miles per hour. When we at least have it in sight, we can consider going around. Sorry, sorry. <coughs> But this, the closer we get to it, the more of a risk it will be. <coughs> and rubber. <coughs> Fine. And we can, the... if you think it's safer, we can veer away from the path of the river now by a kilometer or two, which is seconds of flying. Wouldn't exactly. Be as, yeah, it wouldn't be that bad. Okay, Let's we'll fly just a little, cover our bases. We'll fly a little farther from the river. Okay. Uh, left or right? It's is there what's right, what's left? So, um, um, I see what the dice decide. Depends what's right and left. Uh, right, you see hills and forests. Uh-huh. Uh, left, you see hills and forests. And at the horizon line, left. Okay, left, you see a red stripe of line. And at the horizon in the right, you see a blue stripe of line. By sh- we're shifting off the route to the river, we're going to be close to woods from which things could happen. Or you can call it. I say we let uh, fate decide. One hour passes still as you have this conversation, um, and it's dusk. Left or uh, even or odd? <coughs> odd. Very odd. I guess we're going left. Okay, so you go left. To the left, to the left. Uh, you're making a detour to, to from the main yeah, path, and you're going to the left. A few seconds. A few seconds. Um, would be, I think, five kilometers. Okay, cool. Uh, so you're going... So we can still see the river, yeah. but in the distance. Yeah, and keep a straight line. You go and go and go. And uh, we're going to come back to what, Sh- what Shek was doing in the last couple of... I think five hours we witnessed. We're running like crazy. Like this is the first time like Shaq seems afraid. And just running, uh, you know, backwards toward, towards the city and uh, kind of on the same trajectory that someone that would follow uh, Philip go to. But, you know, checking in behind me all the time. Mm-hmm. Um, as, as you keep running at the point, something darts uh, in in your left and you see um, at the beginning Mm -hmm. of this five hours someone darts and you see uh, golden locks and uh, a a bronze horse with a girl uh, with brown hair uh, uh, on on his back you see Prince um, Finian, the eldest just darting, you see him in slow motion and like an arrow passing you. So seeing this, like my first instinct is to ju- actually uh, jump and duck into the grass. And then when I see this, I look at my shaking hands and try to uh, stabilize. <sighs> Looking behind and then keep up, I get up, keep running. You keep running and running. Uh, four hours pass and then you see another uh, figure darting but on the sky this time. Um, you see uh, passing, it's a big bird. And you smell power even from this distance, like great, great power. The one that I've definitely uh, associated with Jormungandr when uh, yeah, we the were... the legend. The and, legend. Yeah, the legend with Prince Emmerich. Okay. Passing by, darting, uh, same slow motion, get a glimpse and then very fast darts, but not with the same fastness as his brother. Uh, and then uh, you see something that's a bit odd. It's a tree that it's collapsed on on the road. Can you give me a perception? Sure. It attacks you. <laughs> uh, it's a nine. Uh, you see nine uh, in the distance. <laughs> in the sense oh the God. <laughs> Uh, you see nothing. Uh, you see a, 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 a um, you see a fallen tree, but you keep going, and at some point, jumping over the tree, yeah, not to... yeah, and you keep going, and you after you jump over the tree, 
uh, uh, wait, I'm, am I not in a field or is there a road that goes parallel it's a, it's to the Sabbath a, it's River? It's a road that goes ah, okay. at this Yeah, I've run in a road, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, at this point, something just uh, hurls at you. Um, it's being hurled and, uh, at me. It's hurled at you. It's a rock this big, uh, and it's going directly towards your location. You have to give me a dexterity saving throw. Okay, I guess have a 15. Break. <laughs> <laughs> I have a break. Uh, wow. No. 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 And uh, so someone is using a catapult against you. <laughs> Uh, you found them, but you are also their target. It was nice. It was nice having you back. Does it get <laughs> damage? Oh, so you just take damage. No, three d eight damage. Oh, roll uh, the damage. It's sixteen. <laughs> That's a light catapult. Sixteen. I see the source. Um, they perception. Throw whipped cream on you. <laughs> it's uh, at twelve. At 12. So with the 12, you see behind some trees the machinery that is like a medieval sort of catapult. You don't see people, you just see the tip of behind some, some trees. Okay, I run straight at, straight at the catapult. Okay, as you run. And uh, I, I take care to see how many men there are. Mm -hmm. Uh, give me another perception. You see another Durox coming straight at me. Yeah, this is also gonna happen. 17. Oh you're gonna give me, as you run, there's uh, six more seconds in which they could hit oh you, so give me another perception. They shoot once per six seconds? No, but the distance from this to that, it's 120 feet. So it takes you two rounds to reach them. So with one round, it recharges and the other can shoot. So you have to roll me again. And the perception. 17 for the dex. Okay, 17 for the dex. You pass. This time they uh, uh, huddle a rock at you. You uh, dodge out of its way, uh, but it's a big rock. Uh, and how much? 23 for the perception. 23 for the perception. You see, at, from this point of vantage, you see two people uh, using the catapult, and there you see uh, approximately 400 feet another tip of another catapult and towards, oh like advancing towards Green Spring. Oh no! They're gonna attack Green Spring. Oh, oh my god. god. Um, uh, they're Would men of the green of the green kingdom, dressed in princes Finny and eldest uh, emblems, coated in gold. Of course. Um, would my uh, would I know anything about catapults and their accuracy? Would I? Like you wouldn't have the expert. You grew up in a tribe, two tribes, the Redlands and the other one. Like maybe like roll me a history with disadvantage. Maybe you picked up on one of your scribbles or something. So they have them in the Redlands? No. Okay. So it is advantage. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> Natural one. So you know it's nothing. Tea. What's what this? What's this contraption? It looks very odd and uh, human-made. I try to keep low and like I, I want to reach the first catapult for shelter. You reach the, the bases of the first catapult and you see two men just uh, staring at you and they both unsheath their swords. Mm, do they look like... <laughs> would I be able to ascertain their... Um, mm, abilities? Abilities from their garb. Do they look like high-ranked guards or just... Uh, very like, give would me, Shark feel like he could take him on? Give me an insight. Seven. So, so nine. So uh, the yeah. So the one in the left looks a bit scrawny, and the other one has an amulet with the hebdomads around its neck. This is what you get with an insight, and they both one looks scared and one looks rather confident. Okay. Man, man, why are we shooting boulders at for no damn good reason? Do I look like a contestant to you? Uh, persuasion, because you're yeah. not deceiving. You're not a contestant, technically. Yeah. And even though you, you started with the group and you ran with the chancellor, so technically, I don't know. Oh. It's a it's one. A six. Uh, uh, the other one. I approach unarmed. You approach unarmed. Yeah. 
the one that looks a bit scared takes his uh, sword and tries to just doesn't wait for it. Uh, shakily runs at you, tries to hit you. Um, I assume uh, 14 misses. Yeah. Can I tell him? Can I tell it how it happens? Okay, so as he hits me, I don't dodge out of the way, and he just like his sword like impels me and just stays stuck there. And I want to grab his hand and sword like, and take the sword from his hand and put him put it back into his uh, sheath, and while still holding on to him like two slaps on the cheek, <laughs> and then let go of his hand. Uh, as I was saying, can I am here to talk. And then I look intensely at the other one. Uh, the other one is casting something and mutters in his mutters in his palm. Um, you've seen this uh, magic, sort of magic, uh, Leo performing uh, its message. Um, and he says, sure, we can talk, but we've uh, requested uh, backup. Uh, do I realize I can't reply to this in any way? This is not what he said. This is what the, the other guard expressed to you after he finished finished the message. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, looking around, do I have a good perspective over what's going like, on? Do, do I have a good vantage point? No. <clears throat> no? No. Fine. Let's talk. And I look at the one in front of me, the one with the sheeted sword. I grab him and I run away. <laughs> with him? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so you uh, you dash, but uh, carrying uh, another person will half speed your dash. So basically, you run 30 feet, but you run away. Does he slow me down that much? Uh, this is the mechanics in D and D. Yeah, like half half your speed. So you dash with sure. this person. I I keep him uh, like I, I, as I, I dash. I try to keep him as a shield in case they, they shoot another catapult at me. <laughs> okay, excellent. You have to roll me though. He doesn't have a lot of strength. But you have to roll me a uh, grapple. Okay, it's going to be. Uh, uh, does it beat an eight? Yes, it does. Okay. Yes, the 13 on my side. Yes. Uh, should I roll with that die? I only have the two. So, you run with this one, and yeah. the other catapult is trying to um, uh, throw at you. If I hear the boom <laughs> sound, I want to immediately just stay there and, and keep the guy as he's a He's gonna shield. have your damage if you get hit. Huh? He's gonna have your damage. Half my damage, okay. And he's gonna take half of it. But I, I'm not gonna they do what they say. say. No, I, I, I specifically say I want to use him as a shield. I will not dodge out of the way. Okay, oh my God. so you, I think you should add his AC on top of Shaq. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Because we're not rolling AC. So basic, no, not AC, but you're gonna have a two thirds cover. But it's not AC, it's a deck save. You know what? I'm gonna just uh, roll a percentile die to see if it hits you. Him, uh, me. Uh, yeah, him. Yeah, uh, him. It hits you and him. And if you. Yeah, it passes with a 71. So you get hit. Me? Uh, you and him, okay. and you take half the damage. Guy, Which is five, five his first day, and now he has the fourteen, half seven, seven bludgeoning damage, and he's gonna also take seven from his HP. As he soon looks, as I, I, he I, looks bloodied. Yeah, as soon as I hear the, then I, I keep running well away with him. Okay, and uh, now perception. Oh thank God, twenty-four. Third catapult. A little bit to the re left uh, compared to the others. Do I look to be anywhere outside the ranges of these catapults? Yes, you can dodge to the if it's to the left. You dodge to the right, then you could. Yeah, I'm trying to get away from the range of these catapults. No. Okay, you can go around it. Why can't the catapults Definitely. Hit the medium brother? Uh, okay, and you run with this guy. Yeah. Cool. Uh, so this, and you keep running and running. This Some... happens in the five hours. Uh, well, I'll do something else in five hours, but uh, uh, after we can get it at it afterwards. What was have what has happened? Mm -hmm. Okay, coming back to you guys. Um, so you had three hours until you reach Green Spring. It's dusk, uh, and we're gonna. You're just gonna gonna uh, go, and you're gonna roll me a perception to see if you spot the catapults. 
uh, even where we are five kilometers to the left? Yeah. Like, if you want to spot them, I assume this is why you... It's a 14 for me. Okay. Um, There's also a, chance they, a good chance, fat chance, that they, they're gonna not spot you. 11. Okay. You don't see anything that's dangerous towards you. Uh, and you just go. Natural one. So you just go... Or not they're all natural ones. Okay. Uh, I'm... You, you just had to the dice like, tell us the no, first one, uh, natural one, second one, you being neglectable. Be but at the end, until you you sort of approximate that you have one hour left until the finish line, there's a flying rock huddled at you. Dexterity saving throw with humanness. I know. <coughs> I hope it doesn't <coughs> better roll like those old men. What's the second? Like in Hercules, you know, when you are playing the game and you are. <laughs> As you dodge the titans. Oh my god, I need to play that again. Yeah. Uh, she listed the and the extras. But, as we do. Okay, gotcha. Yes. Just some Hercules, right? Hercules, 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 it's a, it's a sudden boulder yeah. fighting against something. Yeah. So dexterity, right? But magic. It's a 17. Okay, with the 17 you pass. Oh, sorry, it's a 19. Okay, with the 19 you definitely pass. You see the boulder just uh, being huddled in front of you guys. Um, and you swoop at it. Good. Mm. Uh, we shall continue into the city. Uh, Lax, I propose we go around. Do you know where we're expected to make landfall? <coughs> where we left from? <laughs> Spring of the... Yes. Are you sure? Sabbath Temple, yes. You did not... Okay. Then I still propose we go a bit around. Sure. Fine. Let's... We'll uh, continue on our... Uh, a roundabout path into the city. Mm-hmm. At this speed, it's still a minor detour. Cool. Um, so, the last hour, uh, this is what you do with the last hour, 12 hours, um, plus one now is 13 hours. And let's see what Leo and the little prince have done for the past four. Uh, so, Stop. you passed through the, do you keep not peeking to the end? I, uh, I suppose Leo will ask at certain points, can I open my eyes now, can I open uh, are we there yet? <laughs> are we there yet? <laughs> you keep singing, look at my horse, and you cannot look. <laughs> this is not amazing. <laughs> at this point it turns into this little song that's very sweet and cute. Um, and then you're out. Like you're out of the cave, you see behind you the big mountains. Catapults. Yeah. Uh, no. 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 Not yet. Uh, <laughs> not yet. Fairy uh, catapult. And you, you, yes, you walk course. one more hour, and then you're about to enter the forest. But he says, "I know. Do you remember where is the magical pathway?" I do hope Stella does. She does. Look at my horse. My Stella horse is, is amazing. amazing. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> they go through the through the forest. <laughs> Uh, one hour and... Knees up! <laughs> yeah, knees up, yeah. Knees up. Thank you for reminding me. Constitution. <laughs> you said earlier that he rolled so good, he doesn't need to roll anymore. It's fine. Roll. You know, if you just cross your legs and not have this problem... <laughs> it's a nine. Okay. At the forest, you need to take a break. Your, your body's hurting, your knees are not as strong. You stop. I apologize. Do you want to turn again into a mushroom? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> then going back to be turned into a mushroom, I can make you all again. I, um, Leo goes into the uh, uh, forest and says, You are the most beautiful thing my eyes ever witness, oh forest. If you could turn me into a beautiful crow to sit on top of the Lord, Lord's shoulder, I would be most appreciative, and your grace and beauty will be known throughout the Midnight District. Uh, with advantage, give me a persuasion check. Uh, Guys. 
affect I turn you into a crow. <laughs> I was. If you promise to visit me. Yeah, I'm not rolling on this one. Oh my god. It's worse. Advantage? With the advantage. You have advantage. You. you. That's a one. And a three. Right? And, but I have plus nine. So that's twelve. You're being turned into a mushroom again. Uh, uh. <laughs> You're being clapped from a distance. <laughs> <laughs> with a... With a... Push Leo! It's my pocket! <laughs> <laughs> mushroom Leo! Angry mushroom noises! <laughs> oh my god! Um, you're being placed into the pocket. You start running. <laughs> Remember to be water a, me. You used to be a great person. Yeah, you used to. Okay. Now you're a great mushroom. Mediocre. Okay. Last hour. Great person turned into a fun guy. Uh, <laughs> uh, you are simultaneously approaching Green Spring, but from different ends. You are approaching the the place that you left, which is the Sabat uh, Sabat uh, River End, and you are going around through where? You, in the sense that Pax, Cassio, and Jen as a group, where are you going? I think we should go to the Midnight Districts. That would be the least protected of them. Sure. Again, Midnight, that's Midnight, Midnight District doesn't have an entry. Exactly. We fly. Ah. Okay. I don't have a problem. The brain is strong with this one. So yeah. this is all happening at the crazy speeds. Okay. okay. So not above the spot, but... So you go... Above midnight. Swooping and Do you want to be stealthy about it so no one would spot you? Yes. I don't understand how we're spotable at that speed to begin with, but... Try to be stealthy. Like you see a purple... The tap is three. It's slower. Stealthy is slower, right? Hmm? Is stealthy or slower? Not necessarily. Yeah, you know what? Yeah. Let, let's do this stealthily. I cast the invisibility with the third level spell slot. Oh, okay, on all of you. Yeah. Okay. Camouflage. Cool, and you're only a stealth with advantage. <laughs> with the, for the horsey, I presume. Yes, for the horsey. For the horsey. Your horse is not amazing. It is now literally a stealth bomber. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Can I guidance it this time? Uh, well, how do you? It depends if I like your role playing. How do you guidance oh, it? I would. Uh, Hang on. I would uh, use my Tinker's tools to extract the vial of uh, the drug I usually use, and we'll take a look at human mess. Uh, three more vials. I'll cut a bit of my own flesh, and I'll fashion it into a creature that ingests the vials and has them like in a big bulbous sack on it, then I will make it crawl into Humanus's mouth and break itself. You see all of this in frog form. Uh, Humanus is being choked a little bit, and, but then uh, he, she is shot, uh, uh, bloodshot eyes, uh, drug, uh, drug, drug addict eyes. Uh, <laughs> it's an addict now. Yeah, uh, not necessarily. Uh, and you, have, you can roll with advantage. <laughs> Yeah, with the uh, guidance, sorry. Oh my god, this is bad. It's a five. It's a one and a two and a three. <laughs> uh, sorry, and it's a total of seven. I oh, react yeah. well to the drugs. Uh, yeah, and she does not react well to the She starts, like, even though she's invisible, she starts spitting. She broke one tooth. She starts spitting blood with a <laughs> high speed from a distance. She starts, like, uh, kneeing, I think. Like, but also crying at the same time. Like you see people from the midnight district just looking up as blood is, and a tooth is falling from the sky and sh- they hear Seeing as I have wounded the horse, I'll feel a bit guilty. I'll take out a potion. This time it's a healing potion for the horse. <coughs> I'll take a look at it. <coughs> and I'll do the same thing again. Oh. As we land by then though, yeah. from midnight to... Yeah. The landing spot, it's seconds. You land... Where do you want to land in Midnight District? Where are we left from? In not, midnight. Not in mid, we don't land in Midnight. You we go land, through Midnight and you go, go over through, Midnight. You go soaring over the palace, the Green Palace. You see your balcony pointing at the Sabbat uh, District, that's uh, Augury District, and you land in front of the Sabbat Chapel. Um... And are there people gathered? Yeah, there are people gathered. There are also uh, contestants that finish the race. And you see the following situation. Um, Could we spot it potentially before we land? <laughs> sure, definitely. Do you see the following situation? People 
you assume people have released the death dead people on the sabbat the dead uh, of that week the, because the funeral rites are over um, and at the arrival you see uh, a big mass of people gather around Cora, Lady Cora Thorn, which is uh, uh, the, the, the princess that negated the right to, to participate in this uh, trial. And um, also uh, she's the one that it has endorsed and helped Evander so far. Um, it's a big, big mass of people. She's, she's speaking to them. Then you see at the end, you see Prince Finian with uh, Nightgale, the, the brown girl from the hut, and uh, their uh, horse. And the Prince uh, Emmerich, without the legend, he's no more, holding, uh, holding, uh, he's not holding the apple, he's just holding a book and, and, and wait, waiting board, um, sort of. Uh, Prince Philip is not there, uh, but you see Lena with the golden apple and monkey by her side and Archis. And I presume, are there city guards around? Yeah, there are city guards around, but the big mass of people is gathered around Cora and she, she is talking to them. And they're holding banners, you can't see from the distance what, what's written. We on won't decide, we don't, we don't slow down. Yeah, we will uh, land. Invisible? Or, or no longer invisible. The landing's invisible, but then I'll yeah. get off the horse. The people will feel a bunch of air being uh, spat in their faces. And uh, before we make ourselves appear, I will pick up the frog from the flesh sack. I'll hold it in one hand and hold the apple in the other. Uh, and uh, you hear, ah, the from the from the masses. What and, does the crowd want? And as you approach, you see on a small pedestal is Lady Coraton giving a speech, and it's it feels that it's about you. Um, and he says she continues, and you see with uh, such a marvelous agenda and spirit and kindness that you can't ignore just Prince Evander Green's uh, um, well desire to to make Green Spring uh, and return it to its glory. And you hear the people saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. He has my full heart and support, everyone. Please, let's take a minute to he, he, to acknowledge how brilliant he is. And you hear people, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, And then someone from the crowd asks, nice legs. <laughs> someone, apart so from this, someone from the crowd says, uh, does Prince Evander hold your heart, Lady Cora? And she says, um, he, she holds all our hearts. Uh, and someone other asks, like, it's sort of supposed to, supposed to be like the uh, uh, inquirers from, for the magazine, for the uh, newspaper. News, newspaper, sorry, not magazine. Um, do you mean you two are sort of an item? And she says, oh, well, I don't know. Uh, and someone else from, uh, from a different newspaper asks, after all, you were a princess yourself and you could, uh, b could have compete, but you chose to give you your heart. This is what you said. And she says, well, um, and someone else says, Lady Torn, we know your late husband passed uh, b a few years ago. We would, we would be wonderful uh, for us to have a queen worthy of ourselves, queen and king Evander. And everybody like, takes like a whole spin and they start chanting queen, uh, Lady Cora and king Evander. And they make pancards on the moment. There is a whole movement of this. Oh my God. Um, People just wanting is this, and uh, someone is onion. someone is saying Cory Vander and <laughs> naming them. Uh, are they naming them. like relatives? Uh, no. no. Don't talk about. Them. Yes, but <laughs> no, they're not. They're distant relatives. <laughs> so it's not <laughs> <laughs> so it's distance <laughs> enough. Like second cousins. No. Sweet home. Seventh home. degree relatives. <laughs> one is a human. One is a frog. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this is happening there. Um, then Finian and Nineteen Gale, uh, you hear about from people they arrived uh, first seven hours ago, and they're bored. Um, seven, seven hours, hours ago. ago. Mm -hmm. We saw them less than seven hours ago. I don't think so. If my math is not correct, but yeah, uh, approximately, approximately seven hours ago. This is in in dusk time. 
Let me just check my math chart with arriving. Meanwhile, Did it take us five hours to get back? Yeah. yeah. But you saw him uh, before you go. You went. You you saw him before you went over the smile of Saturni going towards the end. This one of the but the other. You yeah, there it's, much? I'm gonna get to right, it, but right, this okay, is just okay. the first one that arrived seven hours ago. The math is right, I checked. Mm-hmm. Okay, so the second one is Prince Emmerich that is reading a book. And he arrived two hours ago. Uh, then it's Lena who arrived uh, three hours ago. And then Prince Philip is missing. We're gonna come out from the... Are they on the display in a particular place or just around? There's an area next to the Saba Chapel where they're hanging. I leap into action. Uh, <laughs> was it the poop Into the area. <laughs> into the area. And uh, you hear a guard saying, Someone take that frog away. They're gonna be minding the princess. No, she just appeared out of nowhere with a Pegasus, and they're not frightened. And no, people are around Pegasus, a humanist, the Pegasus, and you, and they keep asking, where is Evander? Brella! If anyone touches the frog, you will feel the wrath of Castile, <laughs> Prince Evander's bodyguard. Brella! Uh, Before you, you have a man that has given both body and spirit for green spring and his toll is visible on his very flesh we bring knowledge for everyone <laughs> uh, you hear people laughing some of them in shock some of them cheering evander cora look it's here it's prince evander uh, <laughs> kiss him uh, um, and you see like the whole mob gathering around you and also Prince, uh, Lady, Princess Lady Cora, that's no longer a princess, just Lady Cora. Uh, she, she comes towards you guys and she says, oh my God, what happened? Lady Cora, hello. Is that, is that you, Evander? Glad to be Say something. Yeah, hello. <laughs> Um, okay, Prince Evander, everyone, he has come to our rescue and managed to re- get this beautiful Pegasus. She sh- sort of like p- p- slides the castle away, so Evander Don't you better. fucking touch me. <laughs> I told you if you're gonna touch the frog, you are gonna die. She, she, I don't she, give she, a fuck who you are. are. She, are you she's, she, she's with us, Castile. She, she's, with, she's with us. Are you perchance uh, the frog itself? None of your fucking business, witch. All right, calm down. You see, down. like, guards coming Get around civil. and trying, like, to... Uh, do we have a problem here? Yes, we do. I'm his bodyguard. I have no idea who you are. Yes, I am just told you, listen to me, she's with us, so all good. Uh, and let's not have our retinue bickering in front of the people, shall we? Uh, Why is he fighting? Oh, my God. Is your hair real? Uh, so what are you doing? <laughs> Uh, you might want to unroll your beloved. Yeah, sure. Uh, I've brought knowledge to... Uh, <laughs> you see some people laughing in the corner. There's like some small children and some like people from, from the lower districts. I, I, I put my <coughs> froggy hands on, on the saplings, on, on the humaness. Our knowledge will grow once again in our green spring, and not just in, in, in our the privileged court, not just in the hebdomad uh, quarters. But we'll make sure these are out uh, to be seen and enjoyed by everyone. Yay! <laughs> uh, some people say with a faint smile. Cora says, it's wonderful. Prince Evander has saved us again. We're going to see when the astrals come and he's going to present his gift. And uh, everyone is clapping. Uh, some are laughing. It's a mixture of situations. Shaq, in the meantime, you also enter via... Um, have I ever heard anything about presenting gifts to astrals? Cause no, no, no. Presenting the... No, no, no. Try. You're the trial, the the, the right, passing, the, the, pa- the passing of the judgment in front of the astrals. I will not enter yet, since I have my friend here. 
Uh, I will go with him, like I'm carrying him like uh, by the scruff of his neck and by the lower side of his armor like this mm -hmm. and uh, going towards the Sabbath River, stopping there and say, uh, is, he, is he conscious first of all? Yeah. Okay, I shake him up a bit to see if he screams or something. Ah! Oh, okay. Oh my god, you are still alive. So, one, and I do like motions, like, you know, stretching motions with, uh, like, uh, clearly indicating I'm going to throw him into the Sabbath River. Deception. Huh? You, you're gonna to fright them, uh, him, right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. What are you planning to throw him? Or intimidation. So, or intimidation, it could be lying, yeah. Okay. Just not persuasion. It, it's gonna be, uh, 14 plus 3, 17. Mm hmm. On the count of three, I oh. will throw you and see what happens no, in the Sabbath no, no, water. No, no. Uh, Two, uh, unless you can reveal some information I'm looking for. I stretch him a, a bit Be more. mindful of the camera. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. You're just terrible. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, I'm tired. So. And uh, I'm looking for two individuals captured by the queen. One is a uh, hebdom, I think, and the other is a skinny half-elf, wears a raven necklace, and I take like a, this big leap, exaggeratedly forward as I'm holding him, and... I, he says, uh, Sir, I don't know, I don't know, I believe, believe me, I don't know! Oh, I slam him to the ground to knock him unconscious. He's unconscious. And I take out the knife, and... Uh, I mark him here behind the ear. It's a symbol. It's it's a uh, cross with two other crosses, which is one in Yuan Ti. Okay. Small scar, yet visible if he's not wearing a helmet that's covering everything. Okay. I I, I lean on to him and and say, this was a terrible night. I I wish we had more time. And I tap him, tap him, his armor to twice, and run while looking behind my back to see if there's no uh, boogeyman chasing shark. Um, perception. It does it's a man a break. It's a fifteen. <laughs> so with a fifteen, you look behind and you feel the see the green forest just stretching, and it's a creepy feeling. But um, yeah. Okay. Then I go to the place we. I, I would expect that sometimes I would meet the Chancellor. I don't know but I can't enter the city, yeah. can I? I, I, I want to try to go toward that place, but would I be stopped by a guard entering the city? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Um, what do you stop? Hmm? At which gate? At the gate that was visible, visibly visible from when we took off. Okay, that would be... We went off from the wall. So that would be the closest gate to that location as possible. Uh, Solis. Solis uh, district. Okay, Solis. that's where I'm going. And um, when, when I walk in, I, I go really casually, like a uh, nod to the guard. I make sure to clean up any kind of blood I had before. Mm -hmm. And I nod to the guard and attempt to pass, like without acknowledging him. Um, he doesn't let you pass. Uh, he asked for reinforcements and asked to see the um, mark of acceptance. I had the mark of acceptance. <laughs> I don't have it on me. Um, what is your name and affiliation, young man? I'm very old. I am almost 67. And I, my name is Tom uh, Branch. Tom, will you be info informing either the future king, Prince Evander, or the current chancellor, uh, Leo, of the fact that you are not allowing his retinue inside? Which one of them, specifically? You saw me at the I start. have seen the official wrist of the retinue and you are not one of them. Yet you have seen me officially on the platform from which the retinue has begun. He takes begun. a list and he starts reading the retinue list yeah. that I actually have prepared if you want to look. No, I, I believe. This is like in the club, you're not a lady. You I don't believe <laughs> yeah. You know, the one carrying the actual cancellor into the race. He was going to be cancelled. <laughs> the cancellor. Yeah. No. Are you pitching that you're the mount? No. <laughs> he, it's okay if it gets me. He says you should wait for them here. And he brings you a chair outside. Short rest. That's nice. Nice suggest you listen to me. 
I have the eight hours passed. He, yeah, he points towards the um, fences, uh, the high fences of the Green Spring Tower, and there's archers all around. Take the chair angrily and go sit. <laughs> the chair. But I am making sure right, he is not. Uh, I'm sitting away from him in a in a, in a pouty posture. <laughs> so he nods. He nods. Um, cool. Coming back to you. Uh, so you're gonna spend the last out of the hours as in a, in a mushroom form. Um, Look at the bright side. Your horse run faster. There's, there's, there's still um, two hours, uh, no, four hours left until uh, dawn. You pass through the forest and then you run and run and run. And you barely make it. You're making uh, a race against uh, the setting sun. Uh, uh, and you reach Green Spring right before the sun sets. He pulls a flask of waters and waters the mushroom and she says, Knees up, Chancellor! You're gonna run me again, a constitution saving throw. He's not, is he not a mushroom? He watered him and he became more human again. Ah, natural 20! Okay, oh, with no, 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 the natural 20, no. because if you'd have rolled bad, you didn't make it. You make it with the last rays of the setting uh, dusk into the augury district, which is the place where the ceremony uh, started and it will to end. To what gate? <laughs> Through the Solis gate. If I, if I go, I um, don't, I'm a mushroom. No, he watered him in before. Uh, so you don't, see don't you see me at the gate? <laughs> you see Shaq waiting and counting in a chair. I, I have a chair now. He waited for four hours. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. You're definitely not smiling. <laughs> You're not smiling. You're... Uh, um, I have run out of little threats, I can say to Thomas. That 67 year old guard, and I start, start mumbling a bunch of shit about him. I found out in angry conversations. He's reading the newspaper, uh, um, um, uh, midnight edition, and he says, Oh, look, uh, Prince Evander and Cora are an item. Uh, unminded so by fast? his threats. Wow. Um, uh, young Lord, uh, you can continue on ahead. I'll uh, make sure to bring my dear help with me. Okay. <laughs> He's, he's making it and uh, reaching the chapel uh, just in time. Um, as uh, Leo gets down, his knees are like... Uh, but uh, he talks to the guards. Of course, and he takes the documents and shows them to the guard. He's Thank you, Chancellor. Puts them on back. I stop you as you do that, as we enter into that. I need documents in order to move around. My... Including the signature you have given. You realize that you made me throw myself into prison or be executed by aiding in your poorly thought out attempt to sabotage the other, which could have been discussed at first with a bit of trust. Mm, maybe it is a, a fault of my own mind uh, when I asked you to grab me and throw me off the wall so we can run. <laughs> you were I don't remember. Piddling your tiddlewigs, not knowing not, uh, anything what to do. I have gotten you in contact with Prince Philip, and that is the only reason you have managed to get to escort him safely. And you know that. The whole speech about not, not doing and him not sabotaging, that was exactly what you have started, and I have followed you in sync with the same logic. And if you want these documents, you will follow. And the moment that we get to Pax, these documents are in his hands because this is too much for me. And he goes inside uh, the uh, city. It is your choice if you follow or not. At least you're inside the city, right? Uh, Thomas takes the chair. <laughs> you're on you're the floor. inside now. He, look, take a newspaper and he uh, <laughs> sort of slaps your hand with it. I, 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 no, yeah, no, it's, it's, t- today was just too much. I will uh, abandon this fight and uh, I, I will go and s- continue the argument with, uh, with Leo. You take the newspaper. Hmm? You take you the take newspaper. A good question. No, I do not. I let it drop they on the... They have crossword puzzles. And they have a drawing with the frog and uh, Princess Cora. That's yeah, what? so fast. Yeah. Eight, like, Four hours have passed. Yeah, that's right. That's wild. 
yeah. magical newspapers. So you go inside, you find your place towards uh, the augury district where the ceremony is taking place. You see the, su the sun descending, moon disappearing from the sky, sun disappearing from the horizon, and all the stars that you know it's uh, Martis, Mercury, Jovis, Venoris, and Saturni disappearing. Um... What have you done in the last four hours? I have taken Jen out of her uh, tapestry. She uh, gets out and takes a big gulp of air. <gasps> it stinks in there. Putain. May I use the tapestry for a bit? I will need it tonight. I'll <laughs> give it back My here. tapestry? <laughs> you need it for what? I need to carry something. What? Lady you can whisper buddy. to me. <laughs> My undead horse abomination that I've crafted using your blood and mine. Well, that's wrong on so many levels. <laughs> I'm confused, la. Okay, take this tapestry with your puzzle horse inside. Thank you. Uh, tomorrow, at... Not at dawn, because I sleep late, but at midday, I, I should expect bring it that to back. Uh, does Grace happen to be around? Uh, you look for Grace in your frog form, give me a perception. Um, two. No, you can't see Grace. I message her to come see the frog. I would uh, also... What do you say exactly? Uh, we're back. I'm a frog. Kiss uh, me. <laughs> come over. Okay. We have apples. Um, Okay. I would like to use the tapestry for one more thing. Mm -hmm. As I rummage through the satchels, I'll take one of the saplings, the one I've bathed in some bath waters, and put it there as well. Okay. And uh, the others I will just carry, I guess, next to Pax. So, Pax, you have four branches and an apple. Uh, did I see five and now there's four? Oh, you Castiel has them, um, there's only four, you can see on him. Give me an intelligence to see if you notice or care, or I don't know, maybe... I think with care. Yeah. Um, with advantage. It's already 20. Yep. It's 22 natural 20. Oh, you notice it specifically. Um, the fifth one that I need. And that won't be any good to you in the current shape it is. What do you mean? I mean, I, I took a bath in the river of death, and I want to see how it acts. I'm not sure. Why did it take a bath in the river of death? He's, I think he put, I put the dead it water in, in it. Is it dead? We're about to find out, but I'm not going to reveal it here. You have four. They will do. These are public guts. You don't get a slice, you don't get a tree, you don't get anything. We've recovered these for Greenspring. We can discuss what it needs to be used for, but we don't take our picks of the loot. There's no loot. All of the loot is I'm sorry, Springs. I carried you there, and had I known you were gonna bitch about it, I would have taken one more just for myself. Yeah. How, how did I do wrong in any of this? You didn't do wrong in any of your actions. You're just not entitled to any of the public loot. If it's best use, might be you experimenting on it, you biting from the apple, we can judge that and do that. But because we recover the public goods, doesn't make the public goods ours in any degree. I assure you, I will plant it. I just need to take a look at it first. It will be not in my private collection. It will be open for use. That I assure you of it. And you see that he, if you try to distinguish, he will be very sincere. Believes him anyway, but we will not make a secret of this. It is a project we will be open about. I would like to share the information once I actually have something worth sharing. The astrals will ask us what we have judged to do, and then we will tell the truth. I can tell that I will use the Tree of Knowledge for spreading my knowledge in the city. They will ask me, and I will not lie. I don't advise you to. Know that I am also truth. The plan is to harbor these seeds of knowledge, not maybe with the knowledge that was placed there, but for posterity and views of everyone. I'm sure the augury might love a Saturn tree of knowledge. Let's first see if it thrives. 
Okay. After you have this conversation, what do you do, Jen, and, uh, and we return to your I'm, situation? Uh, it's before 12 hours return, right? I'm waiting for them to stop beaching. Uh, they stopped. It was brief and uh, intense. Brief and intense. Uh, I'm uh, looking also for uh, grace in the masses of people in front of us. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for anyone we know from the retinue. Any familiar faces, oh, it was almost natural 20, but like this, it's a just a 22, no, 24, oh, no, 22, so. Oh, no, uh, no, 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 no. Uh, you see Grace uh, in one of the masses, just clutching to a paper uh, that she received and uh, hooded figure on with, uh, hooded on, hood on, sorry, with the master code that she has, she's coming towards your side. I wanted to go and grab her, but since she's coming, I'm gonna keep my eyes on the masses and try to figure out where's Leo, where's Shaq, Lashak, where's... No one. Like, until, uh, you, you see no one thus far and you hear nothing of Prince of Philip, the youngest. Yeah, but I don't know that Leo is with Philip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know. You don't go ask people. Hold up, we're not asking. You hear a terrible rumor that Shaq and Leo stole, try to go after Prince Philip. Jumped from wall. Jumped from from the wall and <laughs> will, will, will put trampolines and horses and take took their spells and followed them. Good for Leo. <laughs> Leo. <laughs> <laughs> Um, that sounds like a good thing Leo did. Yeah, I am. <laughs> I fully support him. Uh, <laughs> did you do something else? Uh, no, the that's, interview that's it. Oh no, while we sit, I'm going to... Is, uh, uh, did you guys take any hit points? Mm -hmm. uh, as we sit, I'm going uh, to the, make some little amuse bushes. We're gonna short rest as well. Um, yeah. You gain... Uh, if you heal in this short rest, you get one additional D8 from nice. eating the snacks I prepare you. It's something fresh with lemon slices and orange slices and some... Uh, uh, brioche, some madeleine. Right. Mm -hmm. If we're gonna do this, are we allowed to take a short rest? Mm -hmm. Then I will also recover two spell slots. Okay. Thank you for that so information. So that's one, two. Oh, that's it. Is Grace hard? No, she looks. Um, Emotional. I mean, she looks a little bit sad as she's she's approaching. That's uh, uh, so emotionally, said. but <laughs> physically, physically, give me a. a, a Give me medicine. Thirteen. She looks fine. I sell for a moose bushes. She takes one. Just show it. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. She nods. Um. Hello. What happened to you? I'm, I'm a frog now. You know. Sure. Um, Prince frog. <laughs> Magical forest. Uh, she takes you into her hands and she says, um, Sure, but do, do you feel right? Do you feel good? I feel very much like a frog. It's not it's not as good as as my old body. It's less good. It's just interesting. I like my... Uh, but... but no, no. It's very interesting than being a frog, you know? You could, like, um, extend your tongue up to uh, three times. Yeah. Uh, you, yeah. That has a you can scratch your back, it's very pleasant. The done thing, a lot of potential, but um... It's, it's very, yeah, it has a lot of properties, you should play uh, with it. I don't think the people will be too fond of their frog king. That, that sounds about right. Um, do you know how to turn back? Uh, Castile was trying to make out with me. That was that was the thing that she happened. laughs. Uh, why? Brr, she seems to think that would fix it. Did did it fix it? No, no, I did not know. I wasn't convincing as a redhead. <laughs> I, I, I I don't think I. Oh, it's a whole thing. It's a mess. You did what? Why redhead? Personal reasons. Personal reasons. 
<laughs> so maybe someone who loves Pax has to kiss him. Yeah, that is what I wear. Does anybody love you? Uh, everyone. Oh, personally. <laughs> So for context, uh, Lady Thorn is uh, building up this narrative about how she would be uh, favorite queen in any scenario of uh, my taking of the throne. Well, she really better prove that by kissing you. But if you'd like to uh, make a lot of scandal for the papers, win us a lot of exposures, uh, you could uh, try and pop me back into uh, prettiness instead. Uh, she sort of lowers her voice and she said, I don't want to make any scandal anymore that it's already is. It's Scandal's exposure. I, I, do, no, I no. made this very clear. I do not want to be exposed in any way. You know this. And that, uh, the people that threat me today, it's also made this very clear. What have they come scared you? Hmm? Have they scared you? You're not scared. Sure, I'm not scared. <laughs> Tell her more. The, the, the frog explain her how she feels. Yes, Pax, gaslight her into thinking she's courage courageous. You are courageous. I know this not because you're not. But I don't want to be exposed. This is what I told you and when I first signed up on the ret for the retinue and Fine. climbed the stairs. Want to go under the stage? <laughs> <laughs> um, she will try to stealthily get away from you guys. The masses. You see the meme hiding in the bush. But it's not it's not possible. Like she's trying to and a lot of people are pushing in and then from the other side comes Lady Cora handing one hand. <laughs> Please if you may hand over Prince Ivan the Pax. I have to me and Grace have to uh, check some equipment. I, I think it's good you keep checking equipment every other places, but uh, not in public. Yes, checking equipment uh, not in public. This is very much in public. Yes, rabbit. Excuse us while we go not in public to check equipment. <laughs> she gets close to you and she says, Look, I don't like know where, where you're, uh, you're, you're <laughs> pulling at, but everybody can see and deduce what you're doing. Stop frogging around. I'm, I, I absolutely want to frog around. W would you like to join us? Would you like her to join us? Looks at Grace, looks at Cora. Uh, they both there's, look... There's plenty of frog to go around. River. They both look... Uh, <laughs> uh, Grace hands you to Lady Cora and she says, Bur Good girl. So she slaps her a little bit gently on the cheek. Grace who, leaves. Who slaps whom? Uh, Lady Cora, Grace. I, I hop back on to Grace. I think you're gonna be playing as a frog for yeah. the campaign. Um, she extends again one hand, smiling politely and diplom <laughs> diplomatic. I don't think you're evaluating your chances now, Evander. It's not about chances, Bribbit. Uh, this isn't about laying claims or status or marking ownership or any of that unhealthy garbage, Bribbit. Uh, maybe for you, but for the public it matters a lot. Because you have no... You have won a lot of legitimacy. And I suggest we go With someplace in Freibut, or a whole bunch of us, and then I come out normal, and people can speculate, which is fun for the people. It's not fun for me, I'm not putting this on the line. She drops you on the floor. I catch the frog. I hop. You hop. You're not there. Well, I'm there. You're not there. You hop on Jen's uh, shoulder. Uh, try. <laughs> You're being wholly unreasonable. No, I'm, I think I'm being plenty of reasonable. I think holy. It's I not as if these. you're acting upon anything previously agreed upon that I'm in any breach of. You want to stake a claim to make yourself a sort of public favorite. You're making a move, and that is your move to try, and I can react to that. I want us to remain close and allied and aligned, but you are trying to get into a position we never agreed upon, aren't you? 
Well, it's what the people seem to want. No, it's what you made them want. Mm, You're I... very good at it, and I congratulate you. And you will always be close. And please stay close. But uh, there is no entitlement to rat which you claim. Then uh, I should remember this the next time you're gonna ask me for spells. But why and do you favors. need to take offense at you trying to make a play that uh, was excessive because it was beyond our agreement? I am taking offense. This is what I tried to talk with you last time. Do not remember when you're gonna be made prince. Do not forget when you're gonna be made prince. Lots of people want me to remember them if I become king, but I can't marry them all. to choose your words very carefully because you're in this position to even be considered to this trial as a half-human as you are because of me. Hora, we are friends and friends do not push each other to take decisions. Let's discuss this I think this having, as... being friends, it's uh, not just one-sided. And so far, until this point, you haven't sort of given me anything. This is the moment when you can. Friends ask friends for what they'd like. They do not let friends know, look, all you can do now is give me what I want. Fine, I shall reconsider this. Um, Let's discuss it over proper private tea when I'm not an amphibian. I am uh, I agree that this situation doesn't necessarily help. Um, Shall we all together retire to private quarters? <laughs> she picks you up, <laughs> sighing. Um, she takes Grace uh, and she looks towards uh, I, I said no to Jen Castillo. Uh, the letter. We are going all to from the finish start. Uh, it's not Just a, a half an hour nearby. But private. what about Leo? Where's Leo? Exactly, exactly. Oh, you forgot about There's no Leo thing. and no Shaq and no Kate and no Adam. Bex. You never care. You're missing four retinues, news, huh? Yeah. The, the, the only rating news that you have left is Grace, Jen, and Castillo. Well, not even half of us. Castillo uh, would like. I don't know what they've been up to. Grace, what have they been up to? I'm gonna wait here for how them. Should, how should I? Were they in the city with you? No, they sort of left uh, in a dimension door, so... What, what were you? Pax, it's okay, I'm gonna wait Leo, for them. Leo was okay. riding Shaq like an animal. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't until the very end where you made me do it uh, to pass the last dimension door. Oh. Sounds fun, but... Um, you heard it here first, folks. You got your Ferrari, eh? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> a whole bunch of us. Uh, let's let's. Do, we are in the Ogre. Fer Ferrari. <laughs> <laughs> It's a Ferrari thing. This is wild. Stick with us for more puns. Just go to the closest in, closest restaurant. Um, you go into the storyteller's uh, tavern, which is the closest. Mm -hmm. It's filled with storytellers. Oh. White coat, porcelain mask, like drapey, long purple robes. We look for a private... Um... You're being, without asking, you're being gestured by, I don't know, three dozen storytellers at the same time, like from hand to hand to hand to a chamber. That's not creepy at all. It's super I just, creepy. whoever's carrying me at the moment, I put it that way. Castillo would, would like at a certain point to make a sign to you, tap you on the, your little frog head, just try to discreetly point towards a lady, what's her name? Cora. And oh. uh, subtly ask, <laughs> I rolled to see that. I rolled the natural 20. I'm sorry. Just to, to be clear, uh, she turns. But she also caught by the action with the natural yeah. 20. Just to be clear, I'm uh, Jen is staying at the finish line and all of them mm -hmm. go. I'm staying with humanness at the finish line, waiting, holding the fort and waiting for the others. Okay, she turns towards you with big eyes and she says, Listen here. If someone is were to kill someone, I do not believe you have that power. And I do believe our roles are reversed, at least in this city. But we're all on the same team. But I'm his guardian, at least for the duration. 
I know not who you are. I've never seen you before. I frankly don't care, but I've seen you threaten him. So, as a good lapdog, I had to protect. Uh, that's a fair comment. You're nothing more than a lapdog. Exactly. And you're nothing more but meat. <laughs> oh, what's going on? I shall not forget this conversation. Please do. Remember. Very right, me. She's the queen of remembrance. You go into a private quarter, a private uh, living room. Uh, you and front form Castillo, Grace, and Lady Cora. I hop onto a table. Now then. So shall we? D- this is sort of a test that you wanted to do. Like, who is competing to kiss the frog frog prince? No, no competition. Uh, just. If it's not too much to ask, if you could each of you kiss one of these big old frog cheeks at once, one each. You want us to kiss your f- frog cheeks at the same time? Please. Oh. A mouth is supposed to work better in That's the first That's so tales. stupid. I, I was sure he would say, if you want to kiss each other. <laughs> <laughs> As I want. Um, uh, she goes and she doesn't even like, she gestures to Grace to stay put with one finger. She goes and kisses you on the mouth. Mm. Lady Cora. When she is. does the, the finger thing, I, I frog you back up. Mm-hmm. Uh, would you stay for me to kiss you? I'm not doing this. I'm not playing school when school boys and girls play games. I'm not kissing you on the same time with the same cheek. It's very stupid. Sit so I can kiss you, so, so something will happen. She makes a fair point. Okay, fine. But you're up. She... <laughs> she kisses you on the lips. Perfect. You stay like this, one minute, two minutes. No, within ten seconds I hop over to Grace's side. Grace or Castile? He already tried. tried. <laughs> but did you like it then? Such time is the charm. Yeah, that's for the frog prince to know. <laughs> Brother. Look back, this seems very old, very weird to kiss with a lot of people around. You're right. We should offer you some privacy. Shall we go outside, lady? The whole point was to keep this vague, so could you have a passive aggressive conversation with each other for a sec? Yes, I'd love to. <laughs> I'm not gonna even bother. Like I perfect. Don't bother if, somewhere else. You know what? Like if you, this. if you do not um, turn back into a man, I'm gonna hand head over to to uh, Dolox uh, Dolor um, and see maybe if he can do something. Maybe right, but let's see if Gracie happens to have the magic touch. Yeah. Sure. Um, and she leaves. I'll go outside. I have nothing to say to you, so... Good. Just, uh, then that's gonna be the smartest conversation you ever had. Nope. Just just expect for consequences. During this bickering, I... I... <laughs> what now? Nothing. You must be seeing things. You're blowing marshmallows. I don't know what marshmallows are. What's the, what the did wind. you do earlier? What? I'm sorry. I'm too busy guarding. She's leaving. I'm gonna find out. I was kissed during this conversation. Most likely. Most likely. Maybe. So you two in the in the room, Grace is holding you in her hands and she says Hello. Hi. Do you This is very weird. Um Frog. I'm sorry. This is very weird. Um no a li- not not the frog bit the I mean she's right, you know, you sort of made the competition and it's weird. It's no competition. It's keeping vagary. It's discretion. It's sh- sure. political intrigue. Sure. Do you reckon um, this will work if I'm also a frog? Why? Only if it helps you get in the mood. I mean, I, I look at your long tongue and I sort of miss mine. And she turns into a frog. She fights more? <laughs> <laughs> what? She was a frog all along? Yes. What? I, 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 I've been telling you you're not. Yeah, all along. But this less expected than 
Uh, she then sort of like I don't know how frogs kiss, but uh, she's gonna just try to lick your. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Uh, There's a lot of amphibious. And, and the first second since uh, her long, oh uh, long, she's also a little bit discolored and, and she's very white and, and frog uh, terms, coloration terms. I found out uh, it's very cute. You guys, it's very cute. Uh, <laughs> they don't use tongue. They don't use tongue. So she gets no. close and you, your uh, your uh, uh, nasaling, I don't know. Little froggy nibbles. Little fro- fro- froggy nibbles. And in the first second, you feel like a sort of a worm that's spreading through the contact point, enveloping you, and you turn into a human being. Wow, it's a true frog's kiss. Oh, that sucked. Uh, pardon, uh, that uh, sucked. Um, I take Grace Frog. What's <laughs> going on? Uh, are you also capable of uh, convulsing? Sure. Excellent. I put on my shoulder. Sh- should I do now? I'm gonna crush you. With my tiny You're body. Tiny. I put her on a chair. Um, she turns me there <laughs> as you're putting her in a chair. Hopasha. Um, <laughs> Hopasha. you make that sound. <laughs> that was very weird. Um, should we? I'm sorry, I promise. No, I can't promise other things won't be weird. I no, wanted not to. The frog, it wouldn't have not been the frog before. thing. The thing with Lady Cora. I don't want to be put in this situation where. It's not I'm... about. Um, it's about the public, and they have to not have clear answers about frivolous things. Important things, very clear answers. Frivolous things, keep them in the dark. Merci. Hugs her, human kisses her as well. She sort of like pushes back a bit. You're, you're saying that it's a frivolous thing, but for them they matter. Like who's your surround, you, how, who you choose to surround yourself with. For them, they, it matters. Yes. And I surround myself with many amazing people. Sure. Uh, she gestures towards the door. Should should we leave? Offers his hand. Please let us. Um, you're leaving. Uh, Pax exits uh, five minutes later in uh, human form. Hmm. Seems like I don't love you enough. Seems like you do. One day, one day. That woman is a bitch. A very competent bitch. Uh, I also know a very competent, uh, gruesome, profane man that does excellent work. I, competence is something I uh, very much appreciate in people. At least I'm competent in something productive. She's just a bitch. Mm-hmm. What you call bitchiness uh, has uh, 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 speed finance, uh, made sure you don't uh, die in case you would fall, and other such bugs. I had all of those bases covered for us. Très bien. So did she. Now, let us. Um, so you go towards the finish line, Jen is holding there the fort, and in the last minutes, even down to the second, the last 60 seconds, as the sun is setting and it's now midday, midnight, uh, a small uh, pony appeared. It's Stella with uh, Prince uh, Philip on top. Do they have background music? Okay, sure. Hey, horse. Look at my horse, my horse is amazing. No to chance, smell of raisins. Um, uh, as you you leave, and then on the sky you see the stars uh, that represent the the pantheon of the hebdomads: Lunae, Martis, Mer- Mer- Lunae, the, the the moon itself, uh, Martis, Mercury, uh, Jovis, Venori, Saturni, whoosh, disappearing, and then also the sun after it um, it uh, dawns, and before you uh, manifest the. Um, the seven astros, um, strong and scarred Martis with motherly uh, orange mo- uh, Mercury, whimsical Jovis that seem to be very, uh, very happy for some reason, uh, odd and wise Venoris that is frowning, uh, silent Saturni and Solis and Luna holding hands at the end of the this um, 
chain. Then the six candidates are uh, asked to come before them in the order that they arrived. Uh, and you see Prince Finian, who arrived first, with Knight Gale behind him and um, uh, the horse. Uh, then second in line is Lina, just with Archies and uh, Monkey. No Blaze. Um, with one apple in her hand, also Prince Finian has one apple. Uh, then it's uh, Prince Emric, without any apple. Um, <coughs> then it's you guys, Evander. How, how do you stand? Simply uh, in front of the retinue, uh, respectfully, uh, yeah, at attention. And with what? Uh, Branches. The, the five saplings around me uh, and Castile holding the apple. Okay. Uh, and, and last uh, is just Prince Philip with his horsey and the one apple, and he gestures towards Leo, and when he sees him, here! You don't know Leo came. Leo came. Into the, into the witch shop. I was just coming. I, I yeah. imagine uh, Maybe Leo went just home. Come. <laughs> Maybe I went home, that's true. So we went there? You, you went, went there. there, yeah. Okay, so he's, as he sees you, he's gesturing, here! No, no, here! Leo. Uh. Okay. Chancellor! She, he's uh, waving a hand, like everybody's eyeing them. Uh, the queen is rather yeah, nervous. Do understand why he's making this gesture? Uh, Leo, Misty Steps. Home. To the small, <laughs> horse, uh, to the small lord's side. To the small horse? To Small lord's side, yeah. Genevieve. Small horse, you said. Small lord. Lord. Okay. Lord, okay. I'm uh, a little Genevieve bit... Genevieve frowns and she looks at you. Try to gesture. Um, cool. Where's Shaq? I suppose he's coming right now. Where is Shaq standing? Can we back go back ten minutes? Yes. Yeah. And What's, see. Oh my God! How oh, Leo's that? <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, uh, when you told me like I, I can walk off uh, and you just go around, the li- I, I would have continued that conversation. Okay. No, I cannot walk off. This is a transactional bargain we have here. I have proven myself that I can be trusted. Small steps, some towards you, and then you come towards me. And I show you, like I've drafted the document of what has happened, like truthfully, but uh, worded in a way in which you have actually given the commands, like to go and follow the prince and stuff. Stuff that I, I uh, actually took action on. I need both what you have there signed and this one. What is you afraid, your... Chancellor, that you look at me and see yourself doing whatever is necessary in order to succeed? Maybe that's some bullshit you to throw in for the people, and that I can respect. But between the two of us, it's hardly a more pointless effort to put up this charade. You are looking at a creature who has lived on this side of the planet for 437 years. I have seen criminals worse than you that I felt akin with. I have seen people doing rash things that I thought for more than fleeting moments that I could do also. I have done things that question my morality and made me wonder if this earth is better with me on it or not. Do not come with me with this kind of messages and this kind of mentality for how I have been there. But I can offer you this. The moment we get there, the documents for you are going to be given to Pax. And <coughs> he will receive from me my utmost trust in you, that you are to receive these documents. As for these two papers, I will sign the ones that I have, that end until the moment we reached the wall. (sighs) 
I'll extend the hand. It has been a pleasure. And I, I, as I shake your hand, I put in the other end say, and say, don't forget, this doesn't end very soon. We'll, we're gonna have to be allies alone for other times as well. I have seen your capabilities, Sir Shaq, and I hope we get on a common ground, for your strengths are many, and I have seen it. Likewise. And your mind is more brilliant than I have given it credit. I'll spare these compliments, they are just like, Shaq is, is clearly not responding well to this, like an awkward way. Spare these compliments. It's better that we focus on the task at hand. Have you seen something like a man with no facial hair, a strange long posture? Have you guys encountered that? And as we walk uh, towards that, I tell him about the storytellers and what I know generally about them. No, I'm actually uh, describing the, the uh, one that broke my hand. Did I see anything? So he said he went with Disadvantage. Disadvantage? Oh, well, I think it's rather arcana though. Arcana, 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 arcana. That is a starting uh, 11 no. plus. Wait, because I have arcana. arcana. How much? 4, 15. No. It's a high DC for that. I have not heard of any of these, but maybe in the library we can find some information about it. Just one thing, if you see a creature like that, I actually genuinely never thought I'd say, but it scares me. Run. Let's go. Your counsel. Okay, so then when uh, Leo disappears, uh, it's just uh, Shuck standing there, waving the mist away. And where do you go sit? Hmm? Where do you go sit for this trial? Um, I go sit behind uh, Pax, but I, I do take a moment to wink to the little uh, <laughs> prince. <laughs> what about Michael Bon Appetit? Michael Bon Appetit is not there. No. Oh, so uh, you hear drums, uh, uh, you hear prayers, uh, the queen steps forward and they have the mads as well as um, Prince Finian, the charming, with a charming smile, the eldest, sitting there next to Nightgale, um, says, raises a hand with the stolen apple and she says, he says, Hello, dear Astros, uh, people of Greenspring, mother, I have stolen this um, apple back uh, and I will eat it to give the seed of knowledge to the next Meritronarch, that is Meritros, and she st he starts eating it whole. Uh, and after this is uh, happening, uh, they shift uh, towards the next. Um, Lina hands it, hands it to uh, give the apple to Solis and says, the seed of knowledge must be heeded by the hebdomad of knowledge. Solis nods. Um, then Emric uh, says, it's his turn to speak and says, I gave the apple to the first beggar I could find in Greenspring, for I want to prove my merit, not get rich by any means. Not with knowledge, not with something that is not rightfully mine. My idea of merit is to equalize society. And uh, you're next. Uh... Who said what again? Which prince? This last the, thing was whose? The middle one, Emric. Yeah, the one the with the legend. One. Okay. Knowledge is something that should not be a reward, should not be a present, should not be in as so far as we can uh, be held as a privilege should be accessed by as many as possible. 
um, he, he says this while uh, Charmcaster is in the shape of a dagger and he's carving through the apple. Um, more importantly, um, knowledge is to be grown, shared, and shared with everyone, not just with those lucky enough to be of the right blood or to have the right resources to study it. All those that may make time to partake of knowledge should have knowledge. Which is why a nugget of information, a nugget of knowledge, a nugget of power means little. It is how we all produce better welfare for all of us to improve knowledge. It is why I brought these saplings that will dot green spring and give knowledge to all that can partake of it. Um, and all these little chunks of apple, um, holds his thumb on one little piece and tosses uh, everything else out into the crowd, all the little chunks. People started catching it. Um, The saplings are important. That knowledge begets knowledge, creates knowledge, spreads knowledge. Um, and that has been my judgment to this query. Uh, then comes the little prince and says, how can you pass something that is not whole? You need to pass it whole. And who is Meritos? And looks at Prince Evander frowning. Uh, so. I look to you, Sab Saturni, because you're the one who exuded this challenge. You must get the seeds. And she, he starts cutting and plucks the seeds. But only the seeds for the hole comes to the home meritus. And it takes a big fat chance to turn from a, from, a, from a stranger, from an enemy into an ally. And I want to give this to you, Chancellor. <laughs> oh, no. Because you have proven so much. Don't start crying now. <laughs> uh, he's emotionless, but... <laughs> yes, I'm yeah. emotionless. Yeah. You take this. You're the most meritorious one. I could have done it without you and Stella. And he pets it. Knowledge is hidden in the most unexpected places. Mm -hmm. Thank you, young lord. And I'm gonna... What are you gonna do with what are you gonna do with the apple? I'm going to respect the uh, small lord's wishes and eat it. Okay. I'm gonna give you what it does when once you um, once we finish this uh, bit. When you digest it. Uh, when once once you digest it, but you sort of feel illuminated while you're eating it. And it's um, it's light shines upon your insides. Um and now is the turn of the um, Hebdomads to speak. They all look towards uh, Prince um, Finian, the eldest, the charming, and um, Hebdo uh, Hebdomad, sorry. Saturni starts gesturing something, and before comes Venoris, swoops her front. And uh, she says, you ought to steal from the Habdomads themselves with your cunning ways in this sacred trial. What did you promise, Nightgale? For she, my trusted servant, betrayed me and my sacred establishment. Uh, he sort of mutters marriage. Uh, Nightgale would be a wonderful queen. <laughs> Uh, Saturni gestures something and she, Venoris interferes again and she says, Oh, answer is uh, that you're not deemed uh, merit. For you have no merit and no place to receive my blessing in the first place. You have no merit on that horse. She looks towards Martis. Martis nods. He gestures three times with his hands, and you hear three acute sounds of slashing, and three heads fall to the ground. The head of Prince Finian, the head of the horse, and the head of Nigel. 
Uh, and <laughs> you hear a yelp, a yell of so much sorrow and pain from the queen. That just, she just faints. Um, Mercury lifts her up. Uh, she infuses something in her and she says, I'm sorry, my child, you have to watch. Oh, 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 uh, she's God. being brought a chair, she's being soothed. She starts crying, but she cannot make a sound. And next is oh, Lena God. with monkey by her side. Oh my God. Uh, uh, Mercury uh, is gently caressing monkey's hair and she says, my child. Um, and she turns towards Saturni, Saturni nods. Uh, and she says, your method was ingenious and deemed above everything else and so efficient. You demonstrated abilities to understand our ways and the hebdomadic magic. And you, Lena, my dear, you have been deemed worthy by the wishing well. It's no small thing. But you have not announced your candidacy. But seconds later than the trials have commenced, 30 seconds later to be exact. So you're asked to leave because you are not an active participant in this. Lina makes a shocked face and Monkey turns around and says, but, but we did it, Mercury, but we did it. And she just gestures, I'm sorry, I tried to explain to them, but they're very punctual. And, but, but please, please monkey, we're gonna talk later. And uh, she, they're being pulled aside. People start clapping, cheering in the distance. Yay! She now we don't betray Lena Blunder steals makes blunders. Woo! Lena um, Blunder steal makes blunders. Oh. She has a shot down down. Um, and there's someone who argues that they weren't let in, but it's shut down. And then towards uh, the second child, Emerick. Um, turns Jovis and says, you chose to, you chose to plant the seed in those less fortunate. <laughs> it's very interesting, very interesting. I deem this worthy. Looks towards uh, Saturni, Saturni nods and gestures towards his left. He forms a queue by himself um, because he has no retinue. <laughs> and you're next in line. Someone in the crowd is like, I'm the beggar, wait, the apple. I brought even another piece. <laughs> Um, <laughs> uh, do you make contact with the Astros? What do you do, Ivan? I slightly bow my head until I'm called to. If they speak, then I will make uh, contact. Solis comes forth. And uh, he uh, touches your uh, head, sort of in a caress. He smiles. When he, when he touches uh, Evander, he looks up with right a, into... And with a booming voice. His eyes. You did wonderful. Wonderful! Uh, you brought the seed of knowledge back to Greenspring and we shall plant. We want the branch that is the fifth one. Oh, Points to the one in Sabbath Water specifically. Castile smiles. I look to Castile's uh, confirmation. He nods. I just for you too. This should be planted in my chapel for everyone to feed upon the knowledge and make Greenspring once again strong and um Solis. Solis, of course. Um the ground sort of starts shaking like a small earthquake. But it stops. Everybody like looks uh, including the astrals look uh, a bit surprised. But they take the sapling. Um, you have the piece with the piece of apple. If you choose to eat it, you're gonna, you know. No, the piece of apple I'm holding is that. Okay. You have been deemed worthy. Please take a stand to the left. If you would excuse my impertinence, may I make the briefest query to Noble Venoris? For what? 
for justice, since though Noble Saturni's trial, questions of justice were asked, and I would ask Venoris of her justice. Over what? May I address her, Noble Solis? No, this is the, we're judging the meritress of the receiving of the seed of knowledge. And I ask, were the one who was prevented by others to stand upon their claim, whether Venoris find it justice that they be denied their rights when others have prevented them from stepping to those rights? So you wish to argue that Lena Blonde Kudrun would be left in? I wish to subject it to Venoris's judgment. He moves aside, and he, they all glance towards Sabat, since this is her, Saturni, since this is her trial. Um, she nods. And Venoris's head with gleaming golden eyes torn, turn towards you, and she says, I'm listening. We all have rights. Justice is built around us having rights. Often, a right is denied by those that intervene to cancel one's rights. We do not say your right has been lost because malvolent others have prevented you from having your right. Lena's right was blocked from her. Persuasion. Um, 24. Well, you swayed me. Lena, you have this man to thank for. And she comes like with big tears and monkey by her side and they take a stand to the left. And she thanks you. She shakes her hand. And now they turn to the little prince uh, with uh, the chancellor by his side. Oh, uh, <laughs> and uh, uh, Martis speaks. <laughs> Mm. My head. <laughs> my, I will bring you back. <laughs> my small, small child. You have done marvelous. Turning uh, enemies into friends. <laughs> Even I find this uh, enticing. You deem worthy. Take a chance to the left, but do not feel this lucky next time. Um, so you are all four cute in the left. Um, the queen is nudged to go and pick the next trial, the next hebdomad, as she's g watching over uh, over her beautiful boy's body and head and spill blood. Um, she looks at Martis. Martis encourages uh, her by shaking his head. Then she turns her head and goes towards Jovis as she's having um, her small child uh, in her vision. He's just smiling naively and nodding. Jovis is super thrilled that he's been picked for the next trial and he starts uttering the next, uh, the Yay, next trial. And the he next says, <laughs> hi, it's me. Uh, let me give you a speech and the uh, other have the meds frown. N no, I'm just gonna give it plainly. It's not a speech, it's a small task. Everybody brace. Um, <laughs> like he has this long, sleek uh, hair with uh, half an Adam's apples and like feminine, but also strong um, features. And he says, in the deeps of the green forest, the trial of courage commences upon my sacred day. Before all, you must evoke the spirit of Joy Maritza, uh, the guardian of this woods. And he makes like a small effect. Across four adornous days of night and day, um, with the rightful invocation, you shall summon her, uh, confront her in wits and battles to seize one of her free hearts uh, and bury triumphantly to Greenspring. It's rightful sanctuary. <laughs> yes. Yes. And with that, we're gonna end today's episode. Uh, uh, to, make you, to make you uh, ponder uh, upon upon um, uh, where is the last 
music, what is the vending music? You make you, you make you make you buy and ponder about uh, <laughs> what you have to do. The brace break. <laughs> Brace. <laughs> brace. Uh, I don't know so where she is has that? only three hearts and we so have to get yeah. one. So, yeah. so we're four. So uh, thank you very much uh, for watching today's episode. Um, we have a very cool and enchanting music. I can't find the proper one. But thank you for watch, uh, sitting with us until the end. We hope you enjoy today's episode and uh, watch it through and through without and, and not minding the cough and the interruptions. Thank you for supporting us. Every like uh, helps and uh, every uh, comment and subscribe is wonderful if uh, we could get them. Uh, thank you Rolling Hills Craft for the promo code Dysovania10. Uh, check it on uh, rollinghillscraft.com. Uh, for amazing miniatures and terrain pieces um, and uh, thank you Serenscape for wonderful uh, the wonderful soundtrack um, stick with us to find what happens next in the trial of the of Jovis hi and um, find out who survives who dies what enchanted magical things are gonna go through but before you do that because this is gonna be in two weeks we're gonna step in the next week into after Dice, where we can ponder upon questions that you send us here in the comments you can find the discord link or a formula link where you can send questions thank you very much good day good night and don't let the, the vampires, vampires bye, bye. bye. <laughs>